Yo, you need to show me how to use the mics on the DJI. Copy. I, I still can't figure that shit out. Yo, you know what? I don't think I ever used it. Does, it comes with a mic, though. It comes like with a little, yeah, yeah. I got you, though. I feel like... I never learned how using to use it. it? Oh, yeah, I'm using it. I'm about to use it again in two weeks. I'm about to go to Guatemala. Oh, yo, what? Yeah, in the to... world, yo, this nigga be out. Wow. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> 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 I'm trying to leave the country. I told him, like, I don't know. My cousin said he wanted to go to Guatemala for his birthday. And he was like, yo, you trying to go? And I was like... Man, like, fuck bro. it. So I was <laughs> yeah. like, so I copped a, it's crazy. Is it, is it recording now? Yeah, it's recording. I was, yeah. I, so I was telling, I told my, you know, I work, I was like, yo, I'm going on vacation, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. I told this nigga, like, his name is Ricky. This thing is funny, bro. He told, I told him, like, yeah, bro, he's Puerto Rican. Like, old Puerto Rican. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was, I go, yeah, I'm going to Guatemala. He's like, bro, what? what? Say, say it again. You going where? Guatemala. He was crazy. like. Hey, what the fuck are you going to Guatemala for? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, hey, aren't you Dominican? Like, what yeah. the fuck are you going over there to see that you haven't seen already? Yeah. I was like, oh, he said, are you are you fucking bored? Like, <laughs> do you just are you bored? You just got that like money, like just to. I was like, nah, it's just you know, like. Yeah, he was like, are you are you stupid? Like he's telling, I'm like, it's like what's Guatemala? What's in Guatemala? <laughs> like, what is in Guatemala? I'm like, you know, volcanoes and shit. Like, yo, I'm you gotta like, get a you gotta get like a map and then. Put I, yeah, like, I want to do that. For I the states, and yeah. then for, uh, I feel like you probably have shit all dotted I feel up. like I got a... Nah, I don't got too many, though. I low-key just started going, like, mm-hmm. outside the country like okay, that. Okay, outside the country, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I got some now. But I want to hit mad spots. I want to yeah. hit, like, OD. Like, I want to be well-traveled. I want to go to, like, to- Tokyo, Tokyo, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel like that would be... I want to, like, leave the country, or at least just go somewhere. Well, I think Tokyo, the dollar is worth less there, I think, right? Really? In, in um... Tokyo is... A- Tokyo is Asia. Yeah. And then all... Because I don't know. Tokyo, Maybe, Japan. Tokyo, Japan, and then... Tokyo like, is in Japan. Is the dollar... Is the dollar less there? I... I, don't I think know. it's, like, one... It's, like, almost equivalent. Copy. Either way, it's a... It looks like a vibe. Like, the, the culture there looks definitely cool. But I would also like to go somewhere where the dollar is, no, where, where the dollar is less, so it would stretch more or something like that. Uh, so a, one dollar is one fifty yen. Okay, so I mean, I guess I mean technically, it could you could stretch it some more, I guess. But I definitely want to go to Japan. I feel like. But um, yeah, yo, embrace a podcast <laughs> episode sixty nine, bro. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Hey yo. That's a big pause. That's a big pause, but we outside, bro. We here, man. Auto cash we in the building, man. Ooh, yeah, well it's been traveling. a while. Well traveled. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we well travel. Right now, you know. We just in the, the cheaper spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High key. Because we going this is my first road trip of the year. I feel like Yes sir. I feel like I'll be chilling January, but, February, and then once like March, yeah, April, because that's the same thing last year, yeah. then like it, the ball just starts rolling. You know why like, though, right? What happened? Spring break. Yeah, you're right. You spring right. break is March. So everybody yeah. starts like spring, starts opening up. They're like, oh, I need a trip. Like usually yeah, that's true. when everybody goes on vacation. Spring and then the next one is like when school finishes, which is... May, June. Or yeah, or exactly. And then high school, I guess. So like, so, like you're already kind of... Yeah. But uh, that's fire though. So wait, time out. So where you going? You going where and with who? Somewhere in New York. Uh-huh. With wifey. Okay, just you and wifey? Just me and wifey, yeah. Oh, shit. But it's going to be fun because she got the whole thing, like, um... Planned? Like, all, like, there's, like, the thrift shop and all that, and there's, like, boom, 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 all this and the, all that there. Okay. The thing part would be cool, though, because it's, like, I think the bathroom was, like, outside. <laughs> it's another room, but outside you or something. only taking shits in the sticks, bro. I don't even know, it's bro. A, what's up, the whole latrine? <laughs> you don't take a shit into a latrine, bro. Like... That's diabolical, bro. I no, do... you better take tailor, toilet paper. Nah, for real, you gotta, you gotta yeah, take yeah. toilet paper. You gonna get everything. Hand sanitizer. You gonna shop before I feel like we are gonna bring the stuff there, like the food we are gonna make, all that, and then take it there. So what is it like a cabin? Yeah, it's like a cabin. Type. An Airbnb I'm cabin. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta look at it again, cause yeah. I just seen the price and it was like ah, this is reasonable. What's the price? And then we just and then we just went from there. Is is under three? For real? For how many days? Three days. Three? Two days. Two nights. We leaving two Friday nights. morning. And you we'll come two. back. And then like Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. So two nights. Yeah, and that's then check out is like twelve, and the twelve is a cool check that's out. That's a good check. Usually out. be like nine, ten. Like yeah. you gotta wake up Surprise. early as so, hell. Like you don't do all that, but you gotta be packed by nighttime. You gotta be packed by nighttime. Yeah, but uh, twelve is like calm. That's so very calm. And then and it's only two hours, so it's not like yo, you did all this and then niggas gotta drive. Seven Let me ask you home. though, is this the one that is like the that mad Instagrammable one that it's like a little cabin and then it got like. 
like the wall is a window and you see outside and everybody got like everybody make a fucking <laughs> I swear to God there's this one in upstate New York where everybody makes their TikTok in yeah. where they they bring a little notebook and a little coffee and then they wake up and it's just like them in the bed and it's like the wall it's a wall that's glass. And you can it's in the woods, but you see like the woods after is it that it's definitely it's not that I don't think there's no see through. That I don't you know, know what I'm so talking deep. about. I know though. what you're talking because I know like it'd be that vibe. Yeah, I definitely totally. seen something like that, and it's like the yo today I spent you know this this, uh, this trip thing. here you know in the morning just my, thinking my yeah. coffee <laughs> and niggas are doing nothing journal <laughs> and then you see like a you, they carry me out or they carry me over to like a video of them walking in the woods yeah. like the leaves crunching and shit yeah. like you walk and the camera's on the floor and you see like the the foot the footsteps like nah bro come on. Come on, man. Stop playing, bro. Yeah, stop stop playing, stop, man. Stop, stop playing, playing, bro. I'm not doing I'm not, none of that. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Just pet peeve. All y'all niggas is not creative like that. Yeah, nah. They, All yeah, y'all, just because y'all can put some two, <laughs> couple, three videos like that together, bro, y'all not, y'all not aesthetically pleasing, y'all, all right? Yeah, a million people done it already, bro. <laughs> that shit's been done. Bro. Shit's been done millions of times. I think that is kind of like my, like... Basically, the uh, the Drew the Drew Walls. Type, yeah, that's the like, Drew Walls, bro. It's like, damn. Because sometimes it's just like O D. Was like, bro, y'all all doing the same thing, the same. Yo, vibe, but like, you, like no personality. Stop, stop. You like, throwing you, everybody trying to get that, that get that shit off. Like, yeah, like with Drew, I think he was different because he like blew up, and then he was cracking jokes at himself. So yeah, he's cracking jokes. With maybe it. the first one was for real, but the other ones after, I feel like he was just like playing that's into so it. Funny, yeah. But maybe people that really be like, yo, man, like, like fam, we don't. You know, you know, like, you live like that, bro. switch it up, switch it yeah, up. Yeah, switch it up. If you gonna yeah. do something, like, come on, bro. Like, stop giving off that false perspective of just like yeah. falling into something that everybody want to see or like, like the such clean aesthetic lifestyle. Like, all right, if you were clean this, but just like, come on, like, switch, like, have I, your own flavor type. Right? Yeah, have your own flavor, like, but like, yo, I don't know, bro. Like, like, we can't be original anymore just because like we. Everything's already been done. Nothing yeah. going to the sun, but you could, you could yeah, put a little. You could put your own kind of twist, your own little personality type vibe. But yeah, I but, get it. But I people, see yeah, but I feel like people yeah. just don't. People just fall into doing it just to do it. Like yeah. I know shorty, a shorty that <laughs> led like a couple. I seen three stories that booked the same Airbnb, the same one I'm talking about, yeah. just to be a part of that craze. Like, oh, I went here and they yeah. they did the same video, the same, that video. same <laughs> video with the same things, like the same angles and all. I'm that. like, yo, this. It's like, all right, yeah. like I th- I see you trying to put like a certain perspective on your social media and this and that, but like, yeah, that's that's corn. No, nah, I mean it's like yo, to each their own. I to each their own, but it's just there. There's a level. There's certain certain things, right? But you could apply that to like. Music, uh, film. Yeah, everybody's like, right. like, yeah. I think someone said, like, creativity is just when you take two things that you like and then you put them together. So, like, if that makes yeah. sense. So, it's like the two things that you like can be something that everyone knows. Like, you could take one aspect of, you know, those TikTok videos and then another aspect of something else. You put it together and that's creative. Like, your own little twist, right? But some people, I guess, just fall into that trap, really. Cause you like to emulate what you like. You like, yeah, yeah. But come on, I don't and know. If everyone's clones or whatever. Yeah, but I, it's just getting too repetitive, and it's like, you know, and it's not even that everybody's clones or it's like doing it for the. They're not doing it for the aesthetic. It's yeah. They're doing it to be a part of that. Like no, they're uh, doing yeah. it for that to be a part of that little group. But it's like, you know, you're not giving me, you're not giving me nothing like you're not giving, new. You're, you're not, not giving, giving me nothing. It's not. It's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, for me, I see that, and I'm a judge. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to judge you, because I'm like, like you ju- anyway. you're just doing this shit for the gram. Especially when it's someone you know, when it's just kind of like... <sighs> and I know Shorty, yeah. and I know Shorty yeah, does it know. for the gram only, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's a flex. Like, you know, like... Like, if you're going to flex, like me, if I'm going to flex, I'm going to flex it a different way. Yeah. But I'm not going to flex it. Yeah, I think that flexing thing is kind of... I see what you're talking about. There's, there's a certain kind of thing where but people kind of try to flex vacations or a vehicle or you know this this lifestyle boom 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 but it's kind of like you know just be yourself but you, yourself can flex, but you can flex like so, so yeah like in your own kind of like in, in a way but not just like you know i don't know it, it, it's hey everybody people. and also i don't know if it's also everybody's trying to chase that that drew wall lifestyle yeah trying to blow up now i'll be i'll be talking to mad people and they'll be like nah i'm just trying to get like at least a thousand likes on 
on uh, that's uh, a terrible Snapchat, terrible. Or, not Snapchat, uh, what's Tick, it, TikTok, TikTok yeah. and YouTube and shit. Cause you know you get paid after a thousand. This I'm like for real. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people are chasing but that. But TikTok is a thousand. I feel I like, it's, a, like I, it's low. I feel like it's low. YouTube but. is a lot, but like. I cause to get to start getting paid. Yeah, to start monetizing. YouTube is a lot just to start getting monetized. Like numbers be crazy. Like I know because when I started back then, right? Like people would always say, "There's people that's like, yo, I'm trying to get big. I'm trying to get famous." They try to emulate these other famous people, and you see how they like fall off and just fizzle out after a couple of weeks or something. Because like it's something where, bro, to blow up or you know get to what you think is blowing up, you got to put in work, and sometimes it's just luck. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like you could catch an algorithm, bruh, and you could catch the act the algorithm in like ten years of doing it, and oh, yeah. then you catch it right. So if you're thinking no one's gonna hustle for ten years and not even yeah, because you could put in the thing is uh, I seen something where it's like you're not entitled to the fruits of your labor, you're just entitled to the to the labor. Mm. That makes sense. Like you could or like put you could try hard, hard, you could do it, and that applies to anything. You could try try your hardest. All you're entitled to. Is to try your best, but you're not entitled to what comes after, right? Because it's not like a video game; it's not linear. Where it's like, okay, when you play GTA, you got no money, but if you play GTA for like ten days, ten months, bro, you gonna have a billion in-game currency. Yeah. It's not like that in life, bro. You could try, try your hardest, hustle, have six jobs, boom, boom, boom. You got all the all this equipment, and then. Nothing. No one and it, nobody see it. That's that's like that's and that's not a hard reality of uh. The entertainment business. Yeah. That's the biggest thing about that kind of, yeah. A lot of people fall off fall off or never get discovered. You see that on TikTok or maybe it was Vine, YouTube, music, right? Or just like any of these where it seems like it's seemingly easily easy to get into or mm-hmm. whatever. Right? But it's it's, it's not. This is not that's not that's not what it is. It's not. The same way, you know this million creators, million millions of videos yeah. a day. Being uploaded to YouTube. And it's like, people think a million is crazy. Like, and the thing is, too, you can be good and great. Because, like, you probably know this, too. Like, there's a lot of people I like to listen to their music or watch them on YouTube or podcasts. But you actually look at their numbers. It's not crazy numbers. They, sometimes they be, like, my favorite song, person be, it be having, like, a thousand views on YouTube, right? Right. Or a couple hundred views on YouTube. Right. Bruh, right? That don't mean people that. don't be fake, and they, they be good, them, right? They be good. good to you, perspectively, yeah. pers- perspectively, right? But like you know, it's all perspective. You could be, you could legitimately be the best yes. at what you do, and no one will know you. And you just kind of, I feel like once you can accept that, you're yeah. like unstoppable because then you, you kind of know, like you know, you that you know, like you hey, me. whatever happens happens, yeah, but I is. did my part. Yeah, you, that's all you gotta do. Put your best. Yeah, and for the most part, they say you like. Sometimes it's seen, right? Sometimes, sometimes the hard work is seen. Yeah. You you move up. But or you be prepared hard. for the next, you know, the next journey or next chapter, right? Like, yeah. There's always something. God always puts something in front of you for some, a reason, right? I mean, it is, it is hard to accept, though, because it's like, yo, this is my passion. I'm putting, I'm putting in the work, right? But I'm not seeing no results. And I may never see the results of, yo, I'm, I could quit my day job and I could retire off this, right? Like, that's kind of hard to accept though, which is understandable, right? Yeah. Because like, yeah, your passion, that's what you love. like. But but it's just... But that's not, it's not going to pay the bills or it's not even, it may even just be a, a loss. Or you could put money into these passions and you never see a dime out of it. Like, yo, you buy all this equipment. I could be buying all this equipment, doing all this boom, boom, and not see a dime, right? Until... I have seen some, like... Some, uh, but if you... Yeah. Right? But it's like, hey, bro. How you feel about that? You feel like that's, that's unfair, is that... Yo, I feel like I'm... Not like I'm different, but I feel like I'm just the type of person where I'm at peace. Like, I'm, I'm... I have joy. I have peace that, like, yo, I have a passion. Or I can say I have multiple passions, right? And it brings me joy. And I'm, like, I'm putting the work in. Mm. And my essence is out there. In the sense of, like, yo, I got um, short films that's out. Mm. I got, like events that I did like that's out there that's happening I have like music out so you got like Like, things that you've done my like put a stamp I'm like I'm inevitable I'm invincible I'm gonna live forever Mm. like right just cause like I'll be on YouTube or you ever find like a random ass movie or a random ass song the person's probably been dead hundreds of years and it's like yo 
but you just but they they live forever because yeah. you listen to the song yeah right like factual who let's say pop smoke gonna live forever you listen to his music you listen to one to see hustle song he alive yeah. Listen to Tupac song, he alive, yeah. right? Take like, some wisdom from it too. You know, like it's still affecting lives, right? And I ain't dead yet, so you know what I mean. I ain't dead yet, so we're not going. I'm not going to see the. Obviously, once I die, and then it's kind of like people are like yo remember me and all that and what I did, and obviously you don't get some numbers, some numbers there with niggas looking back. Facts. But if I live the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, I'm gonna have a I a lot. Kind of going on, and who knows what's gonna happen, right? So, yes, so it's kind of like I'm in this life. Just okay, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Right? What makes you happy? Do what I'm you gotta make you happy. I'm not like yo, they got either win a Grammy. Like when I dropped that album, like yo, I'm sending a Grammy. I ain't getting no Grammy. I'm done forever, <laughs> right? But that's that's how it be for some people. Like, I need to win a Grammy. I need to get a, a label deal. I need to be start doing shows. Bitch, I gotta make at least a hundred k a year off this album type of shit. Like, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> you know, shit, and for that, some people it's a job. Yeah, right. You gotta so, make that shit or not. Like that's the also the thing where I can say I don't know if it's a detriment to me where I feel like I'm not as hungry because I can fail. Mm. Like if I fail at, creatively, I still kind of like got a career where it's like I can still just work and then I'll, I'll survive nah, that's a blessing that's a it's, blessing yes, a ble- but that's it's a blessing. in the sense of like but when, I know what you're saying when like, you're back in so what well, nigga this shit gotta work <laughs> right then I, I gotta be, make it to the like, league my mama gotta eat my kids gotta eat I bro. be dropping like maybe three videos a month I drop like the album was like a year two years ago type but like this shit gotta work I'm dropping music every you day they got <laughs> videos every day like I'm you gonna this, see me nigga. I'm making 10 beats a day type shit not 10 me. beats like every two months you know like this shit, this it, shit gotta it is work. a blessing but you know it, that, that's I guess, too, but like. you gotta think about it <laughs> niggas be, can be on that ground like you just said and niggas yeah. will never get found <laughs> niggas Niggas will never be found, and that shit could be trash. They the baby mama's Ultima <laughs> at 3 p.m. Yo, <laughs> they cut it up the key, shit. bro. Yeah, you, why you left my why you left the Ultima with no gas? You gotta you gotta fill the gas up. <laughs> Say, like, nah, yo. bro. This nigga, said I put twenty dollars. I use the gas. <laughs> so I want it, bro. It's my whip right now. Leave me alone. Nah, for real, bro. But I mean, you know, that's life. Where, life. but that that is something I've been thinking about. Where it's like I'm definitely not. Is hungry in that sense of like niggas not. I'm not like Kanye like feel you. making hundred beats every day like locked in the room type shit like. But I mean it is what it is though. It is what it is. Life is life. You know what I mean. That's what my pops was saying. He's like, yo, this is what I created because I told him like, yeah, bro, like I don't want to work no more. Like, <laughs> I'm just trying to say the crazy. Yeah. And he's like, what you mean? Like when I was younger, I had to, I worked two jobs. I did this and I'm like. Bro, I got a good life. Like I'm calm. <laughs> I'm chilling right now. Like, and he was like, "This, this is what I created. This is the last time I created, bro." Like that, that thing I sent you with how you expect niggas to act when you tell me you have two jobs. Yeah, like, yo. Yo. <laughs> I was like, this, "I'm sorry." I told him, "I'm sorry." <laughs> like, but, but this in this Asian time right now, I don't gotta do that. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's like fifty fifty. Like, we may have like I I seen a posting where um there was this uh one bedroom apartment like. West Orange, that shit was like 2,200. Bro. One bed, one bathroom. Niggas was like, damn, they're not even paying Bro, niggas. I've like, seen, niggas. Nigga, I seen that in Newark. <laughs> in Newark. That's on the thing. She said it was in Newark, bro. And it was, they like two, it was a luxury apartment. They get um, two, two starting, one bedroom, two, uh, 24, 23. Like, damn, what? In, like, what? in Newark? Bro, <laughs> niggas is getting paid like 17 an hour. Where niggas even You're getting like, this bread from, bro? Where, who Where is like, niggas who? getting bread from to be getting? Where do they expect niggas to get like like these luxury people, homes? Right? Be, you know what's crazy too? A lot of the luxury places are not even full. They're not fully like they're not moving. Yeah, yeah. Like only like started. a quarter. Yeah. Like a like less than a quarter. A, we got a bunch of them in, in Hackensack. Oh, like, definitely. But they're not even, they, and they're done. Yeah, they're done. They but people, yeah. they can't find people to move in because it's just so expensive. Yeah. So you, you know what I may just think about it. Like there may be like a crash where they just gonna have to bring them down. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because what what's happening is like with New York. Because even in New York, so I saw in uh, Dykeman, they start building like one of those luxury apartments. They, um, I guess something passed with the zoning. Where they took away the zoning, so now they're allowed to build bigger buildings in, yeah. in the heights. Usually the buildings are like a certain height, but now they don't got a restriction. 
So why was, was that because it's just 11 or just just random? Or no, it it's it's because um they wanted to protect um traffic flow. Copy. They want to see that there's more there's the more buildings you build for people to live, more people are gonna live in it. Um, they also wanted to protect um like uh all like the prices of the apartments around. Yeah. So now you build some things like you can you gotta over there they had a control rent. What's that shit? Like control rent. I think I, I remember that. Um, that's that's a good thing, right? Control, control housing. Rent. Yeah, that's because good. Because it's like yeah, you can't yeah. just run it up the a uh, thousand uh, two hundred, three hundred without permission. Yeah. Everybody bumps up certain time, certain amount. Yeah. And it's only like probably like fifty, hundred, like depending on where you live. So now with that, you know, you're gonna bring up prices. And you know, the heights is Predominantly Hispanic, yeah. you know, so that's where you know, like you know, you work, but like you don't have like you know, like oh yeah, like you know, only like money. Yeah. But now that they're building these buildings, there's gonna it's gonna have some like housing for like um, uh, what's it called? How, what's the fourth? What's that shit called? Uh, for for uh, not public housing. Not pu- public housing. Oh, public, yeah, so for like for uh, what's that shit called? Not welfare. Well, for, kind of. I know what you're talking like, about. You know, it's- for, Section, section eight. eight, yeah, section eight. Section yeah. eight housing. So yeah. it's gonna have like maybe a couple, but the rest is gonna be building. So people are gonna start moving into the ice because okay. you know you could go to you know it's New York. Yeah, maybe you're gonna live in New York. So now what that's gonna happen is I feel like that's gonna cause the influx of people moving there, moving here, like people okay, moving yeah. out there to here, yeah. and moving Patterson, Passaic, Teaneck. So these probably are gonna start becoming like. Not as expensive, but they're gonna fill up. Yeah. Cause Hackensack is also like starting to get like really definitely gentrified, dense, gentrified, yeah. and dense, and it's like Hackensack be looking like two different states. Like you could literally drive on the main street to like main street, but then if you go like down, you it's hood. different, right? And, but then the five minutes later, it's like a whole no, like Englewood is like that too. Yeah, Englewood too. Yeah. Old D like that. Englewood was crazy. Man. Crazy. I remember even when we was in college, it that was how was, it used yeah. to be. And it was like one year, 2019. They threw that like. little circle in there. Yeah. They threw all that whole. Totally different. Now you could walk there. That shit there. was a spot. Like nothing. Chill. Yeah. Now you could chill. You could, you could lay down there the whole night and you'd you be no chill. No problems. Like, I remember like, bro, yeah, I, that was like my first experience, I feel like. I was like, damn. Like, what the fuck happened? Nigga been to um, Kennedy's and then that shit was looking crazy. That, I'm like, yo, niggas going to start fought. fighting. Nigga Kennedy's, be, Kennedy's there in high school. Yeah, yeah. Peak. That twenty, me. I never went until like twenty seventeen. Well, to Englewood side, cause mm-hmm. I have a car. Then I'm like, mm-hmm. I ain't going with no niggas to no angle. Like, what niggas doing? What is niggas doing? So niggas Englewood was going. bad, bro. Yeah, Englewood was bad, bro. I wasn't niggas and I, niggas and I <laughs> want to be in Englewood at the time, bro. I remember like niggas went to the car mad fast, locked the doors, type shit. Like niggas head I took on my, the swivel, bro. bro. I took my SAT prep there. <laughs> I think it was like twenty sixteen, twenty fifteen in the library there the summer. And that's when all that, like, yeah. I remember, like, starting the summer. And, like, you know, like, it was still, like, it was the library before you go to the circle. Yeah, okay. The library is, like, right there. To, on, like, back? So, if you... So, let's say you go into the circle. Let's say you start, um, you go straight, right? So, you know, there's a, there's this one, this one, from this like one, this one. Like, so, if you, if you see the circle, you go straight, you're going to go towards, like, the Keep Kennedy going straight. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly, okay. exactly. Right. So if you go to the left, it's like a, it's actually like an old school or like it's old, old school I think or a library, one of the two. Copy. So I did my thing there, and I remember we would always walk like to Seven Eleven, hit the Kenny spot, and it was still like low key yeah, hook, was... but they was working on all the streets, all the buildings. By the end of the summer, bro, that shit was clean, bro. <laughs> all that cleaned out, like the people, yeah. even the people, like the buildings, the whole change. Shit look, Clean, bro. I don't know where niggas went. I'm like, yo, I don't know where niggas going. went, bro. I was like, yo, you they see, could, bro, it's like they replaced niggas. They took yeah, the niggas out and put white people in there. Yeah. They like, all right. It's like they hopped into a machine. <laughs> and it yeah. came right back out white, like, bro. I was like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah, that shit is kind of scary though, cause like, especially cause I imagine it was probably cheaper. But even when it was, no, actually, I don't know. But yeah, now you can go to Inglewood and it'd be looking. I think if you keep going down, the huge ass houses. Yeah, like that. that's that's the nice expensive cars, part. Right there. But I guess the same thing, right? So that's gonna turn. You're saying these luxury apartments are going to be. They're gonna become right. I feel like people. regular apartments because be crazy. All, I, I I can't Shit. believe that all apartments yeah. can be luxury. Yeah, that's what. Because yeah. then now the norm when before it was just like a regular apartment. The yeah. now the new is the luxury, but the norm becomes. The luxury becomes the norm yeah. because there's all they're all around now. But you don't even make 
They, that's the people style. Can yeah, people can't. Yeah, I see the style. That's crazy, the style though. now. You, yeah. it's the gray, <laughs> the gray and white, clean look now. All yeah. the walls, right? Then they got the the mirrors, the big window yeah. with the granite, the white granite top in the kitchen. That's yeah. the style. No, you, when it comes to house, to anything being built now, house apartment, that's the style. Yeah. Nobody want no nothing else. Yeah, yeah. right. Like before, that's, going, that's right? where we're yeah, going. So we're now going, that's yeah. gonna be that's the norm. That's becoming a norm. So now those apartments, when people start coming, because, yeah. you know, Jersey's a little more, less expensive, people going to start moving there, there, and there. Yeah. And that's going to, you know what I'm saying, still going to fuck everybody up. Yeah, that's, that's like, scary, bro. It's just, also, it. it's also really scary because I was just thinking about, I was in Dykeman when I was thinking about that building being built. I'm like, all this shit is going to be gone. Like, the culture here yeah. is about to be highly decimated. That's like, how, that's how Brooklyn is kind of, like, right now, right? Yeah. Brooklyn isn't even... It's now half of what it was before. Yeah, Brooklyn is just it's yeah, it's like it's that's just like a Brooklyn type is of, yeah. Brooklyn is for hipsters now. Yeah, like it's hipsters. for like yeah. like very they got like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah, got it's a, like, people yeah. that are ahead. Like, like, like I said. you know, like they think they are like a you know, like Starbucks coffee. Pride and, and yeah. you know like yeah, it's, I guess, yeah, yeah. You feel me, hipster like pride. How San, how San Fran I think how it was they, they Exactly. Like that, yeah. So it's like <laughs> if, it, if Brooklyn is not what it was right before, yeah. it was like the home of like a bunch of these rappers and like you know. And now it's just, I, mean, I guess that's life. But it's like my thing is, where do these people go? Like when you get kicked out due to the gentrification, like where where do they go? So they in go. that sense, like, shh, shh. like really though, like where do the, where do they go? Like, right now, so they go, they go to where they can afford. Yeah. So people go to PA. Okay, yeah, they move. They, move they out. start moving down. Now they start moving out and out and down. So you go PA, Connecticut then too. I heard a lot of New York people was in Connecticut. Um, not too. Yeah, certain spots in Connecticut. Then you start going to Cleveland. People you move to Cleveland a lot. Cleveland, really? Really, people. Damn, niggas be. That's and that's and I feel like too. not close, but Cleveland is not OD far though. That's I, five I hours. To, yeah, you should think Cleveland was like, Ohio was like you know like it's far. Oh, I mean, and it's it feels it feel like it's, it's far too. Like when I'm when I was in Cleveland, it feel like you could definitely feel it. But it's I feel like though, like five. Yeah, no, Boston, no, yeah, yeah. Boston is like three, four hours. You right? got Boston so, is expensive. You know, yeah, Boston there. OD. Yeah, it's all the places that are cheap. The Dakotas. You go South Georgia, south, basically. Well, just Georgia, South essentially. Map people be going to Miami, uh, Florida. Not even Miami, Florida. Yeah, there's lower lower income tax or there's no income tax or something. Yeah, so e- either way, but they I mean, be financing over there. <laughs> anywhere in the south, but I feel like Atlanta used to be the spot, but now Atlanta's it's getting expensive. Gentr- now it's expensive, but before before it was like nah, that's the spot to go to. Yeah. Cause that's where we went in the, when the original um the 2008 thing happened. Mm-hmm. That's where we that's where we went. Yeah. So that's but then now obviously I wasn't there that time. That how was Atlanta? What I remember. I was, was you know, like for uh, how many years? Two or three or yeah. something, and then we came back, and then we eventually started moving around. Like, Tina, how well, how old were you? Like eight to ten or seven okay. to ten or something like that. How you fe- how you felt about it over there? Like it was cool when we was there. Like the house house was big, but it was just like everything was just spread out, because like. Like, you know, now you can walk down the street to the store type, but where we lived in Atlanta, it kind of wasn't like that. But it's like, you know, big houses, big lawns type shit. And it felt like it was like on some, like, it just felt like some throwback because, like, all the kids on the block, we all come to my house to play football type shit, like, and all that, like, you know. And, you know, the the school bus, school buses and shit, you got to chase the school bus. Like, you getting your snacks, and you got to, like, yo, y'all niggas ready to go run and chase that bus because I'm taking y'all to school. That's a fact. Niggas is running to the bus. So I guess in my mind, just like you know, the old the old days, um, it was Grayson. That's where he was at Grayson. Um, it's not Atlanta. No, it's- <laughs> it ain't. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm joking. It's same, I feel like back then it's the same shit. But um, <laughs> they hit home. <laughs> he said, "Sure, that's Atlanta." That's an ATL. I remember because I was watching um, back then. I, I used to watch Sharif Cooper highlights, and He's he used nice. to play these two niggas. Yeah. That was in Grayson. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. That would have been the school I was at. But it's a lot of good. Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool or whatever. In the back. But I feel like I like the East Coast better, like the more bubbly mm. type of vibe. Um, I don't know if I can sustain it, though, in the next couple of years. I mean, even, well, I mean, yeah, with the salary changes, yeah, but this shit is expensive, bro. It's 
Madison. I went to a CVS. I got like Drano and a, a four pack of dish for eight dollars. That shit was like eighteen dollars. Damn. And I was like, damn. Like I'm thinking, like you know, it's my fault because I shouldn't have gotten that. That's but either not slapping though. Either way though, the Drano would have been like nine dollars. That's just not even the big one. Yeah. So, like, but it's just like I'm just like yo. That's probably not even a New York, New Jersey thing anyway. That's probably everywhere, but still, I was like, damn. Yo, shit expensive, though. Nah, shit be expensive. Nah, 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 but it could also be around here, too. Be yeah. mad expensive. Like, even when you go to E, bro, again. Yo, we was in Palisades Park. That's 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 the Korea town or whatever. Palisades yeah, Park? they be having mad Asians out there. It be Pop good Park. food, but, like, damn, that shit was expensive, bro. Expensive. Like, Depending where you go. And I'm like... Which I had... It was so we actually went two days Saturday and Sunday. That shit was so that good. Was, that shit was that yeah. good though. You we went to other side. You had no problem with it. It was that good though. Came back for a second. Nah, I remember, I the boy, oh boy, you had a time, bro. <laughs> The said, f- said, said, nah, he said he didn't want the, damn, that shit too good, that shit too seasoned. Yo. So we have, to, it should be expensive, but that shit too good, that shit Yo, too seasoned, bro. just called me, bro. <laughs> nah, day one, it was like soup dumplings at this other spot. Ooh. That was crazy, though. Like, it's like a dumpling, but with the soup, it's like, you can buy it. Yeah, that shit was, I was like, nah, I this I world. ain't never seen nothing like that, bro. You gotta be careful, though, you burn your that tongue. That should be hot, though, yeah. Ah. That shit was fire. The next day, we went to this other place, a chicken spot. But it was just like regular, like fried chicken. It was Korean like some chicken? Korean, like some Korean spicy, way? and then like onion rings and some other stuff. Other stuff. Asian, like Asian cuisine is fire though. They 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 be going crazy. Mm-hmm. Jamaican, like we went to Golden Crust. Yo, never again, bro. The, the jerk chicken was not mad dry. The rice mad dry, and, but it was actually Jamaicans working there. So I'm like, yo, how is actually Jamaicans there? But the food don't it's even really taste like I'm like, bro. I never go to commercialized spots. Yeah, I was like, nah, never again, bro. I like to go but, to the one in uh, um, in in Burgerfield. That's the, the, the dude, the, the, the dude, dude, right? Yeah, yeah, and he that's got the, going to. the fire yeah. beef patties. The beef patties are crazy, yeah, fire. dude. Yeah, I ain't go there the in a spicy, minute. Spicy, bro. Yeah, the spicy. I, that's bro, it. I, I had, had to go pick up spicy. some water, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, yo, I ain't had one of these in mad long. Yeah. Dog, that's the best beef patty. In nah, bro, that's I haven't been in a minute. I got to go back. Yeah. Yeah, it Mo put be, me on, yeah. This should be crazy, bro. Yo, even, even him, yo, like, I don't know how people be having these businesses, bro. Because they got to be expensive in Burgerfield. I feel like that spot got to be expensive, It had to bro. multiply. That spot multiply because they put all... Before all it was like... Be, I don't know yeah. before. Yeah. When it was just... uh. The Chinese buffet. That Chinese, yo, we went there. O D. O D. O D. O D. That was Since, a deal, bro. bro Since child. What's there? It's like a dentist place or something. No, they they so they made it to a seafood spot. Oh, and then now they brought it back. The Chinese buffet. They brought the Chinese buffet and it's back. trash. It's dead trash. And then they opened that Dollar General. They Dollar General. They got the um, Aldi there. They got the Wingstop. And they got another the Taco burger. Bell. There's a burger place. Too. Burger. Yeah, I remember Taco Bell open. That was 2019. I remember. Bro, mad stuff opened there. Yeah, mad yeah, stuff, crazy, bro. Yeah. Mad stuff. And he, I think he's the oldest one. He there. like one of the oldest there, bro. And the, I think maybe the beauty store. That the beauty, beauty store, store too. There, that yeah. one been there too. Been there a minute. Yeah, um, so he he, he yeah. OG though. He yeah. OG. He be here holding it down. You gotta support them local businesses, man. Okay, because he businesses. got the freshest beef yeah. patties, bro. And he and it, I feel like is it just is that just him? I never seen nobody else. Someone helping in the back. No. I ain't never seen no one by him, no, bro. I never seen nobody else. I don't think he let nobody else cook that food, bro. <laughs> yeah. He let his shit by himself. I walked in, bro, the other day. I literally walked in the other day, and so he saw some dude come in. I guess another uh, Jamaican dude. I ain't said, how you do? How you live? He's mild. Like, how you living, man? <laughs> he said, living like a slave, man. <laughs> Say, whipping me, man. Yo, you seen the Bob Marley movie? I don't know why. Nah, I ain't seen it yet. Yo, it... I feel like it was all right, though. What you thought of it? But I think... Because when I seen the reviews... Niggas was going too crazy on the accent? The niggas was... Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> it's Yo, like I can tell it's already. It's like when niggas just... Want to say the accent, but the niggas don't even be talking. They they said the nigga probably didn't even know what he was saying, but he was just saying the accent. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? he just like the ganja make you do that, man. You know, like the ganja make you. Like when you just start saying something, yeah, sound just cool, the sound. You don't even know what you're talking. You know what you're saying. Because <laughs> like, like, I'm telling you, it was a bunch of lies. I'm bro. not gonna lie though. Like, I don't know what the plot was for real. I'm not gonna lie. I fell asleep. <laughs> 
I was tired. You ain't. I fell asleep. You ain't do that to a goal, bro. To an icon, bro. To like to one of the one of the realest. <laughs> Uh, his I autobiography think, and you violate bro, like that. You fell asleep. They said that like it was just like the they just made him like the Twitter the Twitter videos where it's just like they get smoke. He just say some deep shit and then he just like start playing the guitar and like but like nothing really happened. Nothing for happened. Real. Like nigga was just playing the guitar. I thought it was supposed to be about his, his career. It really wasn't though. Like I think so. He was about to go on stage and, and then he had to think about his life. You know that thing. And they said, like, oh, hold up. Then you got to think about his life. And then he starts singing, and it's a flashback, and then it goes back in time. But, like, nothing. Like, I think it's only a span of, like, a couple years, maybe. But, like, nothing really. Like, correlated. Nothing. Yeah, it's just, it's just, like, I felt like it was just scenes. Like, it's cool, though, just to see. Because, like, I didn't really know too much about him. I didn't know, mm-hmm. like, he was really married for real. But, like, in the movie, they show him and his wife and only mm-hmm. one son. But when I actually like looked online, I seen oh, I know I was like nah, I feel like he had more sons, but like nah, nigga had mad kids. Yeah, he mad kids. Come on, bro. No, I knew he had mad kids, but I was like, I'm like yo, like it's only he only named Ziggy. I'm like nah, he got mad kids though. Why just one? But then I guess because in the movie they just want to show one. Oh, is that why they always put his face on zigzags? I don't even know what you're talking about. What you talking about? Papers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. They put his face always on those. Ziggy. They put it's called Bob Marley's. But they call it, they zigzag. Oh, I mean, yeah. probably. Maybe. But I mean, you know, I didn't know he was in the open marriage too. He was so, fucking it. Yeah, but then that's that's why I forgot he was married. That's a I was real like, nigga right there. Because I'm I knew like, I fuck with him. I knew like he had <laughs> bad kids by different by different women. But I was like, yo, so when was he married then? I'm like, oh, it was just like an open marriage type thing. Marriage. And then she had a she had kids by other niggas too. So I was like, damn, niggas was just. It was like te- I don't know, like mad kids and all that. I was like Moses, <laughs> yeah. LeBron, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. <laughs> like I was like, like go for that. And that right. <laughs> so, but yeah, I feel like it was. <laughs> if you ain't know nothing about him, I feel like it would have been cool. But if you like a diehard fan, you probably would you probably upset. be like for me. It brings light to it. it really yeah, brings light I was to just it. like yeah, but I feel like nothing really, nothing really happened. Like like see, that's the thing. Like I I will, like. You can't make an autobiography and it just be random, like just. Yeah, it has like to. It has to really have to be like. It kind of be gotta be like those YouTube like sports one, you know, like the Vincent joints or like um the Last Dance, like, like the Last like Dance, like where really, like you really like take yeah. the best performances, best song, what led up to it, like his defining moments, and really explain it because if you don't do it tastefully, like it's just like now you're, you're kind of like defaming his. Him, yeah, right. You, like, you're you kind of. I think they said that they just reduced him to like you know a nigga just like a nigga that posters. smokes and a poster. yeah a nigga that smokes and then they could just so it's like now you're kind of taking away from his whole image yeah when he was really bigger than that right like yeah. at his time at his highest time like what made him him like, he made him him the music yeah. that he brought really brought joy and love to people like yeah so. and it kind of you know it's kind of sad to hear like I have I'm a I'm gonna watch it now I want to see it but it's kind of sad to hear that yeah. it kind of didn't even hit on that yeah I feel like it just wasn't. Like, on that level, you know? Especially because I feel like there's a reason for you to be that revered. You have to be, like, taking risks. So, like, I would say show that in the film. Show like, that, bro. Like, why? Where he came from. Why do niggas care so much about him? Like, what is it about yeah. him? Like, show. Like, don't just but like. Because if he was just a nigga that smoked and to make music. Yo, mad niggas smoke and make music, bro. Like, so what is different about him is what I'm saying. Uh, and I feel like he came up in a tumultuous, tumultuous, how do you say that word? I even tumultuous, tumultuous. Style. I, I think that's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. Like he came in a time. He came up in a time where um, there was a lot of still like racism going around. Yeah. Black versus white. So like, did they touch base on that or not? Not, not really. Nah, there was no racism during his time. Not. What time did he start coming up? Because well, in the movie, there was like nothing really about that. But in his time, probably yeah, especially with Jamaica, because Jamaica was. I don't know too much about Jamaica, but I know it's colonized though. Like it's right. part of the British, like, like there for real. Like the two leaders. Bro, he came up nineteen seventies, nineteen eighties. Yeah. Nineteen seventy three, and you know, so he's bringing like soul. Yeah. You bringing like you know like fighting peace and love. Yeah. To all this war that's happening. Yeah. So like, I'm surprised they wouldn't hit something like that. You know, that's that's probably why. Too. That's why you know people really tap like I thought people tapped in with him because. Of what he was uh, pushing, you know, like his, yeah. uh, you know, his I mean, music wild. brought this certain type of feeling. 
during the time that was and he know. himself because like he i think one of the things that they did in the film he had the uh the concert and he brought like the two opposing parties in jamaica and stuff like that but it's just like in a sense where for the most part your nigga was just like singing to people he just break out singing to people and it's just like he just like i got no no hatred in me mom it's like but you know it's just like it's just kind of just like niggas just wanted Twitter quotes type shit. Like niggas was really just... I say it in a Jamaican <laughs> accent, bro. I said that's what it was. And they put the dreads on niggas. Like niggas just... <laughs> like, they said, yo, niggas was just bye talking bye. just to talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like... Because it was like his, the, his band. And it's just like... I, I feel like... I can see how you can say that. When niggas is just talking in the Jamaican accent. But niggas not even really saying nothing. Yeah, like not, niggas just... That's disappointing, Just because that shit sound cool. I'm like, that's that shit do sound cool, though. Like, but, like... Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it sound cool, but it's like, you could do it in a way that it sound cool and yeah. it brings light to what he really went through. Because I didn't really get nothing, really, from the movie. But at the same that's, point... That's sad. It is Hollywood... So, I mean, niggas not going to, nah, like... No, that's not true, though. They, you, they, do, they do a lot of good, like, live action, like, I don't mind. If you could change it a little bit if you want to make it entertaining, right? I want some you shit, like... You got Pablo Escobar shit. I ain't watched that, but I, I was about to say some, like, Narcos. some Malcolm X. Malcolm and, and, X shit, um, that was fire. And Denzel. Uh, like, uh, Ali. Yeah. Ali was fire, bro. Like, bro, the thing is that, like, if you think of Malcolm, you think of Denzel, like, on some, like... Or, some like, shit. in the sense of, like, yo, doesn't that really brought Malcolm to Life. a generation that didn't know Malcolm? Like, something where it's, like, you could watch that movie and be, like, okay, I know why people talk about Malcolm this way and why he's revered, you know, stuff like that. Right? Like, joke like why? Like, if, like, if it was um a Malcolm movie and this nigga just had a rifle and the whole movie just him with a rifle... Just- being mad like, confrontational the whole time. It's like, yo, mad niggas got guns and shit. Mad niggas, right? So, and he, got his, he got all his shit on his <laughs> yeah, guns. Right? And so, it's like, you're, it's like, you're trying to cut that point. Bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro. Like, that nigga was <laughs> rapping on the door, bro. Like, it's like, yo, what? what it's makes like, at that him? point, it's like, at that point, it's not even like, it's like, you're already pushing a certain image on him. And yeah. it's just like, it's it's the, it's, it's not the right, it's like, what's really happening. It's like, the, it's a racial image that you push him, yeah. portraying like, oh, this was just a, a guy that got, <laughs> that got high, a black dude, a black Jamaican with dreads that got that's, high. I feel that's like, all you get from that, which is like... That's what I see a lot, You just though, painted a portrait that... Which is unfortunate, I feel like. Just, with uh, Bob Marley, though, like, even in, in general, like, after, if you go to a dollar store or, like, yeah. a weed store, it's just like, this shit of just Bob Marley, just like, peace, love, and then just... It's kind of like, yeah, because he's a caricature... Or they make him a caricature of, like, kind of what he was. Like, they just take a small piece of, you know, what he did. Like, one thing I learned, like, a couple of months ago was that he converted to Christianity before he died. Like, he was baptized into the Eastern Orthodox Church type. But I'm like, yo, I never knew that. Yeah. Like, because, like, his original religion was a, a Rastafari. Rastafari? Rastafari, whatever. So he, he, he converted to a whole nother, like, denounced. Damn, so did he so cut his hair? He didn't cut his hair, but like the the hair is not necessarily the whole thing tied to it, but it's just a lifestyle. It's yeah, lifestyle. right. But like, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. But like, no, I guess in the movie he he was reading some Bible verses and stuff. But but you know, right? Like, at least show that like, yo, he was. I think did they mention that? No, they mentioned he was back in the see. church. Now I you man, you fell asleep during that part. That's probably, what happened. Probably, yeah, you fell asleep. You uh, like, no, like, nah, that shit was trash. Like, yo, you a Christian? You see, you see the beginning when niggas was chatting. You seen the scene of that? You woke up a little bit. Are yeah. they singing a little bit? Because they were singing loud. They were singing, bro. They were singing they dumb was, loud. They were just jamming, <laughs> and you was like, all right, all right, and went right back to sleep. Woke up. Like, woke that up. shit was trash. That shit was crazy. Woke up bro. talking like Jamaicans. That, that was Valentine's too, bro. So that, yeah, I was like, I was like, yo, we can't. That was a the, movie theater for that. We yeah, went to the theater. I was like, yeah, we can't go to the, the movie. Not not at night because I'm thinking about to just fall asleep, bro. You went to the movie theater during that. It was um the end of Valentine's Day because she mean? wanted to watch it. Um, like the the Bob Marley because it came out like the fourteen. Oh, but you saw it at night, though. At night, yeah, at oh, night, okay, yeah, okay. Tight, Them seats be mad comfortable, though. They do be comfortable, bro. Mad comfortable. Yeah, there was someone vaping right next to us, bro. What the lame. fuck? Yeah, niggas, I was like, bro, mad niggas in here, bro. Like, niggas vaping for Bob what was, the, what, was the, what was the niggas in there? Like, was it niggas or was it white people? It was niggas, white, it was it was a mixture wow. of people, but it was something, you know, niggas is like, you know. Niggas came niggas, out, though. Yeah, niggas it came was, out. Because <laughs> it would have been you weird know, if it was yeah. all white people. You feel me? Like, you know niggas is coming out, bro. Niggas came in. They all came with their guys. They probably yeah. came smacked. 
Because yeah, right from Bahamas. Yeah, Marley, <laughs> they just smell like smoke the ganja. <laughs> smoke the ganja. Yo, yo, speaking of niggas. <laughs> speaking of niggas, bro. Yo. You seen the, the Diddy? Oh my god. And Meek, bro. Freak yo, Meek. Freak how Meek. I thought niggas was trolling, but Meek just dropped something today. And it was like something called like like Something like for the heathens or something like the heathens. I was like, bro, there's no way that's the title. Like, I'm, I'm gonna Google it, but Can I was like, play? uh, <laughs> the album. No, it's an album. No, you got the wait. A song or Meek or... Mill, heathens. It's an EP. He said, "Don't follow the heathens." I think it's an EP that came out. Oh, I have it right here. Yeah, no, but either way, I was like, bro, that's like... It'd be crazy. That's yeah, a crazy... Diddy on it, bro. That's a crazy name, bro. Especially, like, the day after that the allegations came out, Shit bro. Shit called heathenism. I'm like, bro. Because, like, heathenism, that's like... What is heathenism? That's kind of like um, apostate. Like, you you a wicked... Like, certain, it's like, so you you a wicked person type. Like, you in some devious... Like, yeah. you a devious... But I'm like, bro, you're not going to beat the allegations that you're going to drop. If that's the title, bro. Yeah, barbaric or more. So that's what I'm saying. So, heathenism. So is he being barbaric? So essentially, like in that context, because like, he just named it heathenism. So not, say don't like don't follow in, the heathen, heathens. In, in biblical context, like heathens would be like a bar- Yeah, I know what it. Like, you yeah, know, like, or you know what I mean? Doing barbaric or like you know out there like or the know, allegations like, like that would be dirt, classified yeah. as heathens, right? Uh, so that's why people were kind of like, yo, there's there's no way he gonna drop. The day after that shit come out and you go drop something. Freak me on the tear, bro. Yo, <laughs> and they said he had to grind for this. <laughs> they was like, nah, he this this is what he was talking about, bro. I was like, damn. I mean, and we we literally just talked about it, but yo, did he crazy? Cause they said he told the dude, he's like, yo, listen, I know other niggas that I did it with, but this is what you gotta do, like, like, bro, to try to coerce someone, even with, even with. Even if it's with a shorty, it's, ain't that crazy? That's like, yo, crazy. listen, I know someone else that did the same thing. It's it's okay. It's like, all right, pull that's up. That's crazy. That's wild, bro. Like, it's normal. That's crazy. Because in reality, what he's trying to make you, it's trying to make you feel comfortable and like it's normal for you to do something that's out of pocket. Like, like but you know, you know, mad people got caught up in that because even the city, uh, Miami, young Miami, yeah, was in that nigga getting shorties to come over underage and that. Yeah. Like, girls came out saying they was underage. They got caught. Nika, they got carded, but they were they had like fake IDs or mis- old, yeah. Then Nika Meek was on it, and then oh uh, Cuba got a junior. That other <laughs> freak. That nigga was freaky. Yo, he a different nigga, bro. And I, you know, I'm like a lot to you before he like he came up with all these freaky ass <laughs> allegations. I thought he was a good actor. Me, I thought he, he was, was mad good. I know him recently, but I know like the OG. Oh shit! It was a um. What was the first movie he was in? But he didn't get killed. Nah, Ricky I mean, with Ricky, bro. Like, yo, Ricky. Yeah, all the black like, movies. The, yeah, um, and then like, a bunch of older shit. I, I feel like he was in the Nas movie, the rapper one, where they just trying to move back to Africa. Nah, why? Well, they always. <laughs> yo, that, that picture's crazy. That picture's so crazy. Bro. I think it's a wrinkle that's making him look OD. Yeah. He, oh, he was in Norbit. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Was he in the movie with Nas and Dmx and uh? I, I forget what it's called. Oh, the Ben the Ben Carson movie. You remember, <laughs> remember that, that one? That, that was like a, he's like the the black doctor. He's Wait, like is the, a Ben Carson movie? We're yeah, bro. That they showed us in, in uh, school. I know there's a Ben Carson because he was the he was the doctor that uh, that separated the twins. Oh shoot! Nah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I watched that movie. Yeah, you know he was he was trying to run for like uh, candidacy. For yo, is there another black dude whose last name is Carson? Or is that? I think that's him. Is he the conservative? Yeah. Oh, shoot. There's yeah. no way that... That's him, bro. Bro, that's nah, crazy. I didn't even piece that. Yeah, bro. But he was wild. He has said some wild things about bugging. Carson. He be saying wild things. He was like, coming to America. You see, he had good, he got good roles. Oh, the butler. He had this one. This was like a big breakout role for him. But he was just being... The, he was the black butler to the... Oh, shoot. To I the, think I to the White House. Movie. Oh, and then uh, a good nigga. that was uh, dang, it's a dude. American Gang, yeah. I know American Gangsta. I forgot what character he played in yeah, it. Yeah, me either. No, 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 no. That was a good movie though. Denzel was. He like, has, he has some good. He has some good shit. Selma. I know Selma. Yeah. <clears throat> he has some good shit, but like, damn, it had to be him, bro. He has catalog. I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. He he was on it, bro. He was in every movie 
ever, bro. Yeah, he has some shit, bro. That's crazy. But wow. And he's a freak elite. He in the Diddy Files. Yeah, you could tell. <clears throat> Remember this shit when they, they had him in custody? He was smiling, right? That's a good so I'm going to do that shit again, bro. He said, when I get out, I'm, I'm going back in, so, bro. He going to hit Diddy first. <laughs> nah, but, 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 but the way, yeah. I feel like the thing with Meek is like, he, first of all, he attacked that, he, he attacked the press in the incorrect manner. Yeah. You not going to go up there and talk about like, you know, on Twitter talking about, I, I don't like this, I don't like that, like. Come on, bro. Nobody believing you now. Yeah. You act. You, yeah, you, you we, overreacting now, yeah. bro. You overreacting. It's like this it shit might be true. real, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this shit might be real, bro. Like you know, you tell they a nigga not. like some shit that really, that really, like they know they did some shit, Niggas and you catch him, bro. They you catch him, and you like they like spazzing yeah. it. So they did headlines, yeah. So he, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, blame him, bro. That nigga when he did that flip, when he did the, the flip, flip, yeah, I like this yeah. nigga kind of little zesty, bro. <laughs> He had a time, bro. Oh, the, the, was bunny, that... hop, the bunny hop thing with the when they was playing uh, tennis with the white people. Maybe even he not was, too. He was like doing a bunny hop for them or something like that. It was like a video. But I mean, he was hanging out with Mike. Who was it? Mike Rubin? This, this, he used to yeah, be crazy. yeah. Like they be at them, bro. Them billionaires be. That party, yeah. Bro. Jeffrey Epstein shit, bro. And they be, who was it? I think it was Lil Baby that they was hugging. Like, they was hugging him from the back. Mad weird, bro. Like, when he came bro. up to him, yeah, he hugged him <laughs> from the back. <laughs> Lil Baby was like, damn, this nigga's got me, bro. That's why it's like, you has got to be content. Because, like, say it's like, think about all that happened. So they're saying, or with Usher. Usher was like, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for like, being with Diddy. That's a fact. Or the game, yo. I seen the a game. clip from, um... Uh, drink champs, it's crazy. He was like, "Yo, I was with Diddy for two years. We ain't never even rapped. He was going to." I was like, "Bro, they can turn on himself." And then uh, I forgot who the the Middle Eastern dude is. DJ Khaled. Nah, the on the drink champs though. He was oh, like, I what, know what you're He was about. like, "What was y'all niggas doing for two years then?" But like, he was like, "Yo, Diddy hit me up. Like, yo, bro, we we out to this day. We out to this country. We partying. We ain't never even rapped." I'm like, "Nigga, why this came out?" I think it was. I don't know if it's before. It, I think it was a little bit before, but okay. it was like you know, was, that's it's crazy. Pause. I was with this nigga for two years, and he never rapped. Like, what See, was that niggas doing so, for two years? So that's, so that's also the thing too, right? Like, <laughs> like I so Meek Mill actually washed the name of uh, Usher because it was yeah. really they was on Usher's head for a little bit, yeah. right after the Super Bowl, and then now Meek Mill came out, so they washed the other names. But like, yeah. if some niggas come out. <laughs> and say, nah, it wasn't me. <laughs> Niggas gonna be like, they don't believe you are friend. Yeah. Like, if Ja Rule came out and said some shit, <laughs> niggas would clown him already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you gonna get clowned for even saying something. Yeah. Like, if it's not true, just let, let, like, let that shit like, die. Not, like, you don't gotta... It's, unless it's like... <laughs> but, like, do you act... Is there ever a situation where, like, you got you have to tell niggas, nah, that shit wasn't me, if it's not, like, some court shit? Right, like unless you, I like, get it though. Tried, right? I get it. If a nigga was saying like, I'm going, you know, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, you know, you know what shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, nah, 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 nah. I'm a, listen, I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna see what's going on. Let's yeah. chill out, bro. Yeah. Let's let's relax. Let's take a step I back because that ain't me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know you hearing that. I see what you're saying, yeah. Cause it's not that's not that's yeah. not valid. That's not viable <laughs> either, bro. Like you can't let niggas be saying that shit and you quiet. Cause it is also you not saying nothing, also say something, you know? Yeah. No response but say then, something. But then it's like, um it's like what's it called? Um you you die either way, like you lose either way. Like you can't you can't defend yourself because it's gonna be like, ah, uh-huh. you overcompensating. Nah. You can't say nothing because I'm gonna be like, ah, it's such a guy. No, no, no. I'm I'm you you handle it like how Drewski handled it. I went to the parties, but I ain't go to those parties. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 clearly define the line that you was at. Like you know, yeah. like I fucked with Diddy at this time, but I wasn't doing none of this and that calmly. The way Meek doing it sound like he like yeah. he's incriminating himself because the way he sounds like he did it. Like the oh, way like he he a deer in the headlights. You know what I'm saying? Like he's spazzing like, too much. Even even with that, right? I feel like it's. Cause how is this even getting leaked? It's Diddy. It's not Diddy that's leaking it. I don't know it. who's it's, leaking it. I think it's the the dude he assaulted that's leaking what Diddy told him, right? Oh, uh, but like in the sense the like, way the, the way first of all the way like, it wrote in uh, niggas are lying. I don't niggas gotta be lying, lying, bro. That's defamation yeah. too. But it could be defamation, but it's not something where like he's him saying that about Diddy though. Like if some nigga said that about like. Jay Z, the niggas would be kind of skeptical, skeptical, cause you never really heard nothing like that. Niggas been saying saying that about Diddy for like well, a minute. Meek. 
Nah, but niggas see with Meek though. Well, no, no, I don't think it's that it's with Meek. I think it's just that, cause I don't think Meek has done like sus, like sus things. But like, nigga, I ain't the sus like, the sus monitor like niggas, the zesty, uh, the, the zesty, uh, <laughs> zesty coordinator. Zoro or something. Zesty. <laughs> zesty Zero niggas is on, but like, when niggas know, yeah, nah, they be doing things to these niggas, bro. And if someone says like, if like, yo, did he try to sexually assault me? But did he told me that. He did it with this rapper, this rapper, and that rapper. It's kind of like, damn, unless that nigga's lying, like, shit. Well, yeah, whoever wrote that, though, Cause how you doing? That's a crazy, like... He said, he said, the, the, said the boyfriend that dated Nicki Minaj. I mean, yeah, it's like, nigga... That's crazy. That's a safari. That could be so said far. Philly, he said Philly, though. He yeah. said a Philly rapper, right? So, First of all, academics is devious. <laughs> yeah, nah, he a devious yeah. nigga. It's for dropping that, that that's, shit like That's that. him, though. Like, he got he a devious, it. Yeah, but I think it's, um... What is it? Uh... If he had said some niggas that... Are there any rappers that people be thinking is, like, fruity? Like, if he had said any of them, we'd be like, ah, whatever, right? That would be an easy lie. Like, let me lie about niggas that niggas are That's still defamation. Yeah, but I'm saying, like... Cause you, if you, it's you, true, it's kind of like... Yeah, but you know, if it's true. Like, if it's nobody true. knows it's true. Because you're yeah. just saying it. Because it, it's, it's now in the public light. No matter... He could, like... If they say something about you, you could go to your lawyer and say, this, this, and this, sue him. But that's it. Like, now that that's come out, Meek Mill, Loki is getting ran. It's going to have to run with it. Even if he, nothing happened. Or maybe something did happen. No, I mean, if something happened, people are running with his name on yeah. memes, Twitter, everywhere. Like, that's defamation of his name. Niggas are going to associate with him with being... With Diddy and Gay and taking up the ass, bro. Yeah. No cap. That's you know it. What, you know what, though? Um, you can't I feel even like fight Meek it. is at a point, though, where if it's not true, it's not going to affect him, I feel like. Like, if it ends up not being... But the thing is, how would you know? Cause niggas, even if niggas, niggas lying right? on your name, bro. But it, it, he had a point, though, where it don't matter because he already, he already, like, that status of, like, not GOAT, but he, like, a legend, though. Yeah, okay. If but it's not true. If it's not true. And if, if it, it is, is true... true Niggas don't clown. Dreams and nightmares go down. Clown. Niggas, niggas. If Where niggas does dreams and nightmares though, go if that nigga's gay? I don't think, you know what? I don't think it matters, though, for real. It, it affected for new songs, maybe, but, like, the shit he really dropped, niggas, bro, niggas is going to be hype when dreams and nightmares come on. Like, niggas is not going, for the end of time, niggas is always going to bump that. But, <laughs> niggas may be in the back of their minds, like, nah, this nigga. Yeah, I'm going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm about to break down <laughs> bar for bar, <laughs> dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Cause if I see, it's like when uh, yeah. when they call R. Kelly and shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, you got right. you know what I'm saying, yeah. like. Cause if, if you see some weird <laughs> shit, like some gay shit now, it's it's I now he's <laughs> kind of going. I mean, it's like I feel like people are not gonna care for real. Nah, bro. But <laughs> nah, cause they was talking about like that that grind, but like I to grind like that, like. I saw I had to grind like that with shine like this. <laughs> right, that, come on, bro. Yo, in this context, that's that's a crazy, that's a crazy bar. In the back of the paddy wagon, cuff locked on wrist. <laughs> what? That's crazy. What you got your wrist cuffed <laughs> up in the back of the whip, bro? What happened in the back seat, bro? That's crazy. That's crazy. See my dreams unfold. Nah. They said that he was said, a nightmare. It was time to marry the game. I said, yeah, I do. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. They said that that's the nightmares he was talking about, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, nah, bro. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's well, you know it'll what? change a lot, though. People do say that, like in these circles, like yeah. say like the hu- humiliation rituals, you know, all that stuff. You, you gotta, you gotta like say it though. So like, if you, you get, so like, if you do get niggas going crazy on you, right? You gotta rap about it in lyrics, type. So, like, say, like, people are like, okay, if that stuff did happen, then that could be, like, an actual, like, that really happened. If that makes sense. That's something So, you got it. So, so. It's like a humiliation thing. So, it's so, like, you so gotta, you gotta rap about being fucked. Kind of. But, in it, but like, you know, you gotta, like, obviously, like, in that context, you wouldn't think about it that way. But now with this, you might be like, you know what? I don't know. That, that shit sound kind of on the nose or whatever, right? Nah. But I feel like if I'm meek, bro, I understand. Yeah, I'm rich and I'm a legend, da da. But I'm gonna sleep mad, bro. Cause niggas think I'm gay, if bro. If it's fake, if it's but fake, you know what? if it's fake though, 
Niggas, I feel like niggas won't care. I mean, because I feel like Meek is sensitive, though. Cause even since Meek is drink, mad sensitive, bro. <laughs> Meek is mad sensitive. Or even that, that's just him, because he always just be like, yeah, that's if just If they him. said if Drake was in there, Drake would have been like, Drake never be, he never been in the allegations, though. Why? So, he never been in the allegations. Why? He just not going to beat him, bro. Niggas, he's not. No, he wouldn't beat those allegations. <laughs> he wouldn't. They would. He, they would say that nigga gay. Ah, right, they really say what he say he gay now. That's what so I'm saying. That's what like, I'm saying. This, so some niggas <laughs> would like if they even say something. Niggas like, would be like, yeah. You bring some light to yourself. It's cooked for you. <laughs> niggas yeah. gonna say, ah, right, you was you, bro. Yeah, like that's like. But I, I feel like because with me, in terms of public perception, it don't. I feel like it don't matter though because look at it this way. Niggas been saying this about Diddy for how long, bro? Mace been saying that 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 he was on that type of time since they ain't on that since we was time. like five All years the old, bro. They was on that time. And niggas th- still niggas still bump Diddy. And niggas be like, yo, I love Diddy. Like, yo, my, he my idol. He right. Even even with niggas saying all this, and eighty percent of it might be true too, right? So it's like, but I, for for I, the thing is, I don't niggas don't remember Diddy. personally. Most of our niggas don't remember Diddy as the artist though. They remember him yeah. more of as like a mogul. <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, like you know, us. like a business, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, niggas gonna buy Ciroc, but they don't. So they don't. It doesn't no, say yeah. Ciroc is as Diddy. Diddy. It's like um, it's more like it, You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like it's not different. like a R. Kelly, bro. Yeah, it's not like R. Kelly where they're saying, "Oh, he was writing about all this and I." Oh, I remember yeah. this thing for being gay. I'm he's writing about this because like yeah, he just didn't do as much writing. I just think it's more of like what I remember now that we know him as a mogul is like how many niggas did he get? How many niggas um, did he fuck, did bro? Did he, bro? A lot, Because think about how many big parties was and all those people and went through Diddy. Especially, like, bro, the pipeline to, like, get big, bro. You, it's He's like you got to go through Diddy. So it's kind of like the implication you got, you gotta of, like... You got to get hit through Diddy. If, like, yeah, so, like, realistically... He got to give you the stamp. That's a lot of people, bro. He got to stamp you. Like, if you go through your music playlist, bro, a lot of these niggas... Bro, it's stamp, bro. You yeah. seen the art... Nigga, everyone be at them Diddy parties, bro. They get everyone. That's, you gotta be, you gotta be. That has know, any sort he has of... He to check you out type shit. Type, right? Like, if you look cute and shit like that... Yeah. If you're a handsome fella and you at the Diddy party, it's shit. It's over, bro. Like, you got your shit ran. It's clip, and then... It's clip, bro. <laughs> Hop in the room. Do what right? you gotta do. And so, then give me the song you need. It's like a... What I say, like a blissful ignorance, right? Because, like, if you... If you legitimately or like yo whoever was whoever was at them diddy parties and did something crazy i'm not listening to them no more you gonna have all underground niggas in your phone you're not gonna have no no more niggas, niggas bro ain't you're no gonna ain't niggas. no hot 100 niggas, you're not gonna like, have no more niggas in right there. so it's kind of a thing where it's like it's a slippery slope really because if niggas want to say oh meek did it i'm not listening to meek bro it's a i promise it's a lot of people nah, nah, niggas gonna stop listening to them just because they think it that first of all that's crazy niggas stop listening to meek though so regardless I feel like I don't think let's because he's just not as hot, you know. Yeah, so I feel like now he's yeah, he's, yeah. again like you said before though, his music kind of like aged to where it was gonna be at right. Like he don't yeah. he don't move the pen no more. His music don't move the. If it was like a Twenty One Savage, that would be crazy. But I don't know that, that changes up the because you know what I'm saying. It's also the perspective, yeah, like, your perception of it. Yeah. Meek had that perception when he was coming with the hot shit, yeah. like his good music. Like um, you yeah, know right. I'm that nigga. But yeah, I right. take him out of jail, come came out a little foodie. <laughs> it's like I don't know what jail be doing to niggas, bro. Bobby Sherman. Bobby Sherman came out a little foodie. Dip- I feel like I don't know. I, I think I don't follow him because nigga was just wild. Wild out, now, bro. I, I was I was happy he came out, but then when he came out, he was doing all this gay, he was twerking <laughs> and shit like. He's dancing like the only nigga that like really came out that was a high was Roddy Rebel. They said that nigga shit went back. That's crazy though. Since we was in high school, niggas like yo, free Bobby, yeah. free Bobby. He came back. And he came out and nigga did nothing, bro. I don't think he even did. He even drop music for real. He did. He did, but it just didn't. None didn't that stay. nothing hit, and he ain't really. Yeah, he just. I don't know. Shit happened like that. That shit happened. Yeah, it's I mean, tough. Like, it's a tough thing. Niggas been locked up in. Has anyone that we know? No, I mean I don't know though. There what? There's no rapper that's been like locked up and they can't recently. Maybe, maybe Young Thug, maybe when he gets Young locked. Thug, he'd probably be big. I feel like, well, actually, we don't know yet because like Gucci Man was locked up, came out, he was he was big. He got bigger, but that's he got bigger, he got yeah. bigger after, yeah, right. He he came out big. Um, what? I don't even know. Even Gucci was kind of crazy because. He caught the younger generation too. Old D. Where niggas didn't even Older know rappers. who he was before. And then but he yeah. did it correctly though. Yeah. I mean, he's a clone though. I mean, that's like. He's a clone? Yeah. Or what? A Birdman? Nah, he a clone. 
A clone to who? Like he a clone. Like that's not the that's not the Gucci that got locked locked up. Nah, because he came out mad skinny and strong. That was crazy. Yeah, nigga like, came out different. Mad professional. And he got married too. Like yo, this nigga came out a whole different person, bro. Like what? That was crazy. Who else was? Who else went to jail? I don't think. Uh, somebody recently yeah, just came out of jail too. Kodak. Yo, I, Kodak niggas don't even be listening. Kodak is just you like, know what it is. I think I think he just got he's he, famous. He's famous, but he just it's like some of his music sometimes like. But not musically though. I mean, not anymore at least. Not anymore. But he's just like he dropped some shit that you know what it's all right though. It's just it's not like yeah, it's, it's not like his old shit. You know, cause he he was hot for his time, but. He got some he shit though. I, I, I'm a Kodak fan. He got some shit though. He had. He has. Some, he has. He has some. Currently, I don't know. Some like, you. It's one offs because the way he raps is like, it yeah. gets annoying. Yeah. You get all. You can only hear for so long. So yeah. for me, it's like one off for him. His run like that, when he was juniors to seniors, like 2016 yeah, he to was like wilding. 2018, was like Kodak crazy, bro. I see you winning, like bro, like they like, every song, attention. bro. Him like. Yeah. Nah, he had a flow. He got a flow. He got a different flow to him, bro. But he's it's just, different. But it's just. So I think now he's just don't don't know what to rap about no more. He just like a. I feel like he do need help though, cause he's just like a junkie. Like he's legit, legitimately just a junkie. Like yeah. just doing his thing. But um. That's the problem. I I feel like a lot of people once they get rich, they lose touch with what they was with it with 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 who they are and what they are with I feel the like famous. It's hard because like the you, just, fame you just have money, money, drugs. You have everything. It's. It's He's hard, but it's like I get it. It's tough. It's hard, but you got it's kind of hard, which is possible because afterwards, like first of all, you lose what made you famous. Yeah. Then you you lose so you lose your talent, you lose your gift, your God given gift, and then you lose your personality when people stop here li- listening to you making that bread. Like you lose lose yourself, you lose fans, you yeah. lose all that shit. So it's like I don't know. It's it's. The later years of an artist is always the hardest. Like, your first years, you're blowing up, and then you have your second, like, you know, your your middle where you're still dropping shit. But once you hit that, people starting to forget you for real, yeah. that's the, when everything starts going downhill for you. And I would say that that's mostly true for these, uh, the upper echelon or echelon people, um, where it's like, because I, I, I get it. Because there's some people that's, like, underground or, you know, you got your people. But for these other rappers... That like the XXL top ten or whatever, right? You you getting heard heard around the world, so it's hard for you to just be like a regular, Yo, regular just rapper. stick to your own fan base. Cause every rapper you have your own niche, and then you get to where they get everyone's listening to you. So I mean, I do, I don't get it because I never had PMB, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, I get it how it would be like hard. Yeah, it's, I mean, again, it's like being an artist, right? Yeah, like, you do it what you're good at. Cause it's the bell curve, like. Not everything is gonna stay the same. You're gonna be unknown. Then you got your fan base. Then maybe you blow up. But then after some time, someone else gonna take your place. That's exactly. just how the world. That's that's just how it works. That's what. That's what. And then now is. you just go back to it's just your your own fan base that yeah. that's rocking with you type. Like yeah. um. Yo, J Cole, dropping. Yeah, he is. I'm excited for that. I'm gonna see watch what that he do. The fall off. Yeah. Wait for his videos for his, cause he's really a creative for real. Yeah, I do I'm like sorry, you don't even fuck with J Cole, but you. No, nah, I do. You, you don't even fuck with him like that. No, nah, do. You, no, nah, it's that. not. It's not that I don't. I I listen to him though, but he's not like on my like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Od, but I listen to him though. But you know what? I feel like you fuck with cause of the his creative side, his his Probably, video producing I do like, and shit yeah, like I do that. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause he do be having some heat on his, his shit. I like that one he dropped a couple years back. There was this thing I just in the seen studio. where he has like a it's like a camcorder of his of all his clips and all that. It's yeah. Cool. Um, that Dreamville, I feel like that put me onto him way more, cause like cause he he um directed that, did all that. I was like, nah, that's that's just dope. So that that kind of. Now you fuck with him. Before he was like, nah, I ain't gonna try. I he yeah. <laughs> don't, I say in a sense don't of like don't switch up on it now, bro. Them them clips is there. I'm not. I, <laughs> I would I will not deny deny that. They call on the other side, bro. He gonna see this, bro. I will not deny the existence of these clips, right? <laughs> um, but he fuck with you now. Yeah, he <laughs> now nah, he he cool. He cool. He did have the the uh, platinum no futures. Yeah, that's crazy. That's cool. Um, yeah, I feel he like, some I like shit, his bro. futures. His future run that was a couple years crazy, ago. Yeah, probably one of my best. Like stuff from him, but like his solo stuff, I don't have too much of mm-hmm. his work. But there's something he dropped, I think, 
You talking about 2016, the Dreamville? 2016, the, dream, the Dreamville shit? The With Dreamville was cool. Uh, that was 2019. 2016. You talking about Borg Center? Not all eyes. All eyes on me? But Forrester came out for it. Forrester Drive was a 2017 for it. Yeah. Okay, maybe that, maybe that one. That's kind of like. No plat, no plat, no plat, no. And there was one I liked. I think my favorite song ever would be uh, the Blow Up song. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But that's not on the that's that's streaming. That's but, uh, Sideline. Bruh, that. That, that was like my hard. favorite, yeah, bro. But yo, that first album, that was his grade, first album. That's bro, hard. Ninth grade, um, basketball practice, bro. Just walking like that With was that. That's song. a good hype song. That bro, like that's a good hype song. Yeah, no, nah, that's it. So he he there. I just wasn't ever like on him, like mm-hmm. um. No, we know, bro. We know. Yeah, I remember nigga was telling me, yeah, that nigga trash. Know. You don't really say nothing, bro. Like that we. That that was my argument though. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm not. It's just, you know, I get it, I get it, bro. But he's, you know, if you really look like that's an introspective ass nigga right there, bro. I like his features, though, like the one he dropped it. Um, he got good features. Benny the Butcher, his features do go great. I think my thing was like him on his beats probably wasn't my favorite, but him on other people's beats. So I, I feel like it's like when he could focus more on, because I feel like I don't want to get into that trap where like I produce but I rap too, so I don't want to be like. To focus on producing and mixing, then the rapping is subpar. I'm too focused on rapping and the mixing mm. subpar. So I feel like with him, he probably I felt like okay, if he makes a beat and he's rapping, doing all this and that, he's not as focused. But if he got a, a 16 or a 32 on someone else's beat, bro, he going crazy. Mm. I always felt like he, I feel like um he when he created his own thing, I just felt like it was pretty cool that he he made his own piece, right? Like definitely, that's yeah. really cool. But I also like. The feature run that he had was really just to be like, all right, yo, like, y'all was disrespecting me. Like, I'm going to show y'all, like, I really rap. Like, yeah. I think, and he can, and he's showing that he can out-rap, like, some of these niggas. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Definitely. He'll rap on any beat. He really, he really, like, can rap on any beat, any flow. Like, yeah. the flows, he'll pick it up. He even sing. I'm not the biggest fan of him singing. But he, he can sing, sing too. He, he, he can do a little up. something, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's like, I feel like he showed a lot that he's very multi- He's like diverse, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, multidimensional, and he had to really he had to do that to make people realize because niggas was disrespecting him off that 2017 and he's after two years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he still dropped fire features, bro. He, yeah, still, still. He dropped fire features like as a like he's just a I fuck with him. I always fuck with him, and his he just you know what I'm saying. I feel like bro. he got like a like from the videos that he's made and shit. I like the videos, yeah. He got good about. perspective. Yeah, I think he has a really cool perspective on how you look at life. I like that documentary. Like him and his like, cause it's a dope ass story too. Because we could probably relate more to him. Cause like he's, they could went to college, he exactly. graduated, right? Grad, uh, or, I. They dropped out. Think so. But you know the same like biggest went through it. Like you know you in college, and then after college, like damn, what I what I'm about to do. And then he found what he was gonna do. So then he failed in one aspect. Exactly. Where, like he wanted to hoop, but you know she didn't work out. He he thought he was putting in work, but he wasn't, wasn't good enough. Either, yeah. He's like, alright, so we're out. I'm about to right. So like that's a cool ass story type. Yeah. And they go from that to boom, or um one of my favorite Kendrick songs, uh, High Power. That nigga produced that song, right? So I was like, damn, that's cool. Like, that's my favorite Kendrick song, but this nigga J Cole produced did. that beat type shit. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, that's. That's crazy, who would have thought? That's like a crazy ass lawyer. I didn't realize until like who knows how many other beats year, that bro. he produced too. He has a lot. He has a lot of um credits. It's crazy. I think there's some songs I was looking. I was like, damn, that's crazy. He produced that, but yeah. right, shit, that's cool. Cool dude, definitely. I, yeah. I would still want to meet him. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would want to meet him one day. I'm trying to go to a, um a show. I need to go to some like shows, like some uh, governor's ball type. Or yeah, he's not, I ain't gonna lie to you. He's fire. Concert? I feel like him. Yeah, he gives good he, concerts. He don't have no backing track. I feel like. I feel like he's just rapping, right? Or does he have a backing track? Nah, he be rapping. He be yeah, up there rapping. Like something like that would be. And cool. he he's like uh he's a performer. Yeah. He's still he's like one of those like Kendrick is a performer. Yeah. He's a performer like you feel. I it. like that I like that Kendrick. You know like what I'm saying? Art. Exactly. Yeah. You feel the energy when they rapping it. You feel me? It's yeah. not like they just saying the words. They like, just put it and then they just say the ad. A boogie is not a good performer. Yeah, they could just say the I last seen, word of the, the exactly. The line. That shit trash. Like, they just be you know they, they just doing it. They just yeah. they set to get in the guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, I like a person that's going. I like the artists that be you know like, really doing this shit. Drake. Drake, I heard Drake was not good. Yeah, I feel like he kind of falls into that line of. Just, well, he just because I feel like it's harder for him. Well, not harder like. 
niggas is just gonna go crazy because it's Drake. Drake. So you don't really got to. But I heard at the, his concert that niggas was mad tight because uh, he was just like playing around with all his songs. Like he would sing some some parts and he would like rap some. Sometimes he would just not even rap. He would just like like you know the crowd. Yeah, like, he just be standing there like. Yeah. So it's like he could get away with it, but. It's like, I that's feel not like fair though. They don't take the. That's not valid. Like with J. Cole and Kendrick, it's like, that's their art. Yeah, that's an art. art. It's like, an art though, a performer. That's not yeah. even their art. It's an art performer. Yeah. You see Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. You see Usher. Beyonce, the yeah. Usher performance, the Super Bowl was great. They I thought really it was fantastic, be, bro. Like, you know, really like trying to give a performer like entertainment. It's yeah. ent- you're really entertaining, like, you know? Like making you tap in with the song. Like, different experience, yeah. So it's like. You know when you go and you pay for some shit and it's just not like what you thought it was. That's why I, I like those. Um, I like like Rolling Loud, and I don't know if I could still do them. I probably could do maybe like one more. Yeah. Cause you can see all the artists and you don't get stuck with one. Cause when you get stuck with one and they're not doing good, that'd be like, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of upset. I'm upset. I paid a lot for this one person and they weren't good. There's someone I want to. I want to see Westside Boogie. But oh, like, he's pretty go. solid. Damn, yeah, I'm trying to go to the concert type. So I'm trying to like, yeah. You, you haven't been to a concert? I ain't yet. never been in no concert, bro. Like, so I'm, I'm gonna just start looking up, looking up niggas. Yeah, yeah like, find, like, find you a good one. See, and then try, just try to go, just cause like, this year. The I only thing with concerts is now they be mad fucking expensive. Like yeah. back then, like literally right before COVID, shits would, you, you could find some shits for fifty, sixty dollars. I'm trying to go to some grassroots, like some like, calm local, like not no nothing crazy. Cause I also do got the um. Some underground yeah. rapper shit, bro. Yeah, not even not so. Yeah, I'm trying to go to some too. That's why I'm trying to get my music out, like released. So it's like, yo, I got a catalog and I could like, you know, interact with people. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also, like, um, I feel like I, I like a more intimate spot. I feel like, like I feel like when there's just mad people, like a Drake concert. Right. I, feel, I don't feel like I could go to. That. I think one. Of, I feel you. Just mad, bro. People. I remember, I went to the Coder. You know Coder the friend. I would say he was yeah, yeah Coder. Yeah, I know Coder. Yeah, he, I fuck with him. He was like, like I think back in like twenty eighteen, I was fucking with him OD, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to a concert. So I went to a concert, and it was like in a bar, and it was just like maybe like, the bar was filled, but it was like maybe like thirty five people, forty yeah. people, something like that. It's in that cool. joint, you go in, and it was just like he was the stage was like probably right up to here, like the stage was probably like, like. This high, yeah. And we standing like I'm standing, and he's just right there, and like right, I'm in the cool. front row, like yeah. like rapping word for word. Yeah. His shit while he rapping, shit crazy. I feel that's cool. That's, like, a, that's a vibe. Vibe. Yeah. It was a vibe. I was like, whoa, this is like one of the especially because like if niggas is there, yo niggas want to be there too. Exactly. Like, it's kind of like on some like this year more intimate. You more intimate. You really yeah. rapping it. That shit, you cool. Yeah. Shit like that. That's why I know it, man. I fuck with those. Hmm. Not for sure, bro. What else on your mind, bro? You said you had shit on your mind. Yeah, I, I t- nigga, God, bro. Oh, I, I was going to, you, you was talking about the, um, the student loan thing. Um, my mom thought it was something different because she had, she had kept sending it to me. So I'm thinking it's something like really different. But I looked at it, I was like, nah, I feel like it was the same thing, bro. Mm-hmm. They said you have to have less than, I was talking to my brother David about it too. Like you have to have less than 12,000 total in the loan and then at least 80 or something payments. Like that don't even make sense, nigga. Because if you go to school for four years, and unless you get a full ride and you're taking a loan, it's probably gonna be more than twelve thousand. Because like, nigga, one year is like twenty. But you know, you know what it could be too, though. Because I was thinking, thinking about it. Like, you know how when you took the um, those loans in school, the subsidized and unsubsidized. Yeah. Each one costs as a loan, so that's my under brother, twelve. Yeah, my brother was saying that. It wouldn't make sense though. So it's only like one, cause then if it's like five k, that's that would be a semester, not even a semester. You know, it would be like it's weird. Yeah, like that's all that'd be forgiven. It's like one semester. But I, I also think it's just for um older. Yeah. Okay, that's another one. Especially because I'm like I just started the payments. Like I think that they that's another hoopla thing for him to come up on voting. I'm gonna vote for Trump, hey, if niggas don't niggas not vote for Trump. That you know what the problem with the race is? <laughs> it's not even. It, the thing is like it, so Trump and Biden are not good candidates, but um the Republicans are bringing up some shorty, and I think the Democrats are trying to bring up some dude that are like are way younger. Yeah. That uh to replace them too. Yeah, we need we need some run. younger people, bro. I feel like that's. Well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if it even matters really. Yeah, it do. It do. It do. I don't. I don't know. It do. It do. Yeah, yeah, the it do, cause like, 
the person that's leading your country, that's how, like, optimist, you know, depends on how your country is, right? Like, when, when uh, Barad came up, I feel like the country, I felt like the country was mad, optimistic, like, oh, we got somebody young, and, you know, like, it's like, prosper, you know, like, it's a but vibe in the we're air. in a different culture, though. But then Trump, but then, black. I feel like, yeah, I know, but so, then Trump came along, and then you saw mad racist shit, mad <laughs> racist shit happened. popping out. And, like, yeah. mad confrontation. The world kind of went, yeah, it did feel the... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel... I feel like whoever's leading the the, the, the America takes that kind of identity. You know what? But, you know, you're right. Because I remember when Obama got it in school. Like, yo, we was all watching the presidential thing. But we didn't do... I mean, obviously, in high school, we didn't do it for, for, for Trump. But it was just a different vibe. Where niggas is like, yo, we... World going to shit. We we all about to die exactly. tomorrow. Like yeah, we niggas. Five. yeah, right. So, but all the white boys was doing it. I was in Teaneck, so because Teaneck, I guess yeah. So Teaneck it makes sense, but I don't know how it was in white schools. Exactly, they Obama. probably. I don't think it was probably. Yeah, I don't think they played it because it was white on white, white versus white. You know, Biden versus Trump. Yeah, I feel like people because no, because if Biden, no, because Biden still had Kamala. Kamala, whatever. But they, they don't but count. But they don't really, yeah. They don't count, they don't count. No, yeah. They don't count. Really, yeah. They count for, like, you know, she probably, she probably, like, the first black woman oh, vice president. Wasn't Hillary, though? I'm not, wasn't Hillary running She was Trump? also running against Trump the first time. It was Hillary? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Biden. Yeah, it, it was, was Hillary. Hillary. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah, I remember. And they did not fuck with her. Yeah, niggas ain't, yeah. So that's the thing, though, right? Like, it, it matters, like, the face of your country. Like, Whatever in any country, who's well, your face know. bring gets that identity, bro? Because it wasn't George Bush mad old too. Oh, he probably wasn't even as old as Biden, but I feel like he was old, right? He was younger. Biden's oh. the oldest president. Yeah, I think he's type old. He's yeah. eighty. Yeah, no, he's pushing. Yeah, he's he looked, pushing seventy, he eighty. He looked old. So it's like you know what I'm saying. Years. And then Trump too is like yeah. 60, 70, bro. Yeah. This is these are the Obama oldest. Obama's in his forties still. Or he's no, he's probably fifty now. He yeah, was like forty when he got. Yeah. But yeah, when he, um, he yeah. was like forty something. That's 40. crazy. And then he's still thirty, like damn near thirty years younger than the president Bro, right now. Right now. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like you, you, and you need that. Like you need that. You need like a little spunk, a little pizzazz. Like these two, these two just Trump just running because. He wants to feel the fuck of it, bro. He's not really and into he doing got, no change. The thing that sucks, though, with the Republicans, they can't really bring no one on the side because everyone just wants Trump if you're on the Republican, if you're conservative. And that's the problem. That so it doesn't matter. Trump is the 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 pick. Like, there's not going to be... Nah, it's not even. Because Republicans don't want... Because the problem with Trump is right now, he's still being sued in, like, half the states yeah. for voter fraud. Niggas don't care, though. That niggas don't care, yeah. but Republican the that's gonna take the vote away from the actual from the actual shorty. Yeah. So if he, if he runs and the short the Republican representative the shorty that they got runs, then it's clip. and it's only Biden, they are gonna split the vote. Yeah. And Biden's probably gonna win. win. It's clip because niggas going and to then that niggas gonna die. Then you probably get Kamala Harris. Yeah. You probably we probably <laughs> get Kamala Harris thing. Yeah. Who's the other person with um? That's a Democrat. It's some white boy. I don't know his name. I don't even... Because we vote in November. But he's younger, though. Yeah, yeah, he's coming up soon. I am see... I mean, I don't be watching... But TV. they they, they they're still trying to decide on who's going to... Who's going to run. Yeah. Because I don't think... Is it this year? Is it? I feel like... There's no... Maybe. Vote. No, it's 2025 because... No, it was 2020. What What did they say? No, yay it's... for what? 2024? I think because it was... It was November 2020 we did, I remember. Yeah. Where we voted... That's crazy. Four years already. So it's like, listen, bro, it's serious. It's kind of scary. Because it's been eight years since... Because I remember, like, basically my whole childhood, it was like Obama. Obama. And then, damn, now we now it's Trump. And Trump has already been in and out. It's been eight years since he's been gone. I'm like, wait, really? Yeah. And... Miss a good president. Or um, a decent one, at least. Shit. Yeah. The STEMI, niggas getting bread. I'm like, hey, bro, so... The whole thing was Biden was even before we graduated, we was talking about the um the student loan thing. And that's the problem. That's why I think it was another like little oh, thing of like thing. trying to bring up something to help for student loans. Like yeah, it falls in line, but who does it really help? Because he's trying to get the younger vote. That's how he won last time. Yeah, he beat uh Trump because the younger vote was like, now nah, we can't have Trump again. Yeah, we need to you know what I'm saying pick Biden. Yeah. Biden was the thing, but now that. They was like, but I ain't really do nothing for us. <laughs> yeah, he was like, that didn't kind of slept through the whole thing. Yeah, and he tried. Don't get me wrong, he tried and everything. He got shut down, but it's like he didn't. He didn't accomplish nothing for real. Cause that's the main thing. Like my whole thing is just like, I really wasn't messing with Trump, and 
Because I don't like he COVID the whole thing. Why it got so he he gave us the stimmies all that, but the whole reason we needed the stimmies was because I don't think he really handled COVID well at Correctly all. Right? at all. Yeah. So like if that was handled, we wouldn't really need the stimmies because yeah. we're not even down bad. But like you know, what I I'm mean, saying? even he, I mean the government, the whole thing was shut down though. Like niggas was not working. Yeah, nigga, I, it could have been. I just been don't in a think. Better spot I I definitely think he not handled it correctly because he was going out there. He got COVID and he was almost dying and he was on stage <laughs> talking about like, you know, we're gonna be uh right. You remember you remember that time yeah. where he was like pumping us full of drugs and he was just like, <laughs> uh, yeah. yes, you know, everybody's gonna be great and I'm saying this because <laughs> we have the most best medication. Yeah. You remember when he was saying we're gonna, you know, they were working on. Yo, uh, pumping Clorox my into DNA. your body. This is America. They said, you know, they're gonna work on you drink some Clorox and they'll clean you from no, COVID. Niggas bro, niggas Some niggas, I feel like some niggas, niggas tried that, bro. Yeah. The doctors. They look at the DNA. CDC nigga and the nigga said, he looked bad. <laughs> like, bro, that he, you know, he didn't believe. He said the the Chinese, the China, the Chinese, all. You know what I'm saying, like, like right. He didn't handle it. He was locked it. in for months, though. So that's kind of like, I guess in hindsight, you don't know. Like, in our, we were in school, so we didn't really f- feel the full effects of, like, in terms of, well, maybe sort of we did. Like, say you was just about to graduate and the whole world was, like, shut down, right? Niggas can't get jobs, you know, all that stuff. So, like, in that sense, you know, now things are, I guess, okay, getting better, right? But say you're in that sense of, like, damn, what if we had a better system in place where, some niggas was probably homeless during COVID. You know, niggas lost jobs, you know, right? Niggas graduate. Stuff is not lined up. Or stuff that you had lined up. Mm-hmm. Niggas not hiring, right? Niggas not getting money. So, in that case, yeah, you needed the STEMI because now you don't got a job because the stuff wasn't handled correctly. Yeah, right? exactly. For me, I mean, I was only a junior, so I still had senior year. Yeah. So, it wasn't like... Because that shit probably would have been hard. Like We came out at the perfect time. Yeah, to graduate. But then the whole economy shut down. Like... You can't. It's like you and can't do nothing, and then you sitting on a degree for a year, two years. Yeah. Now you gotta deal with the niggas that's also getting graduating the same year, exactly. next year. You can't walk. You can't go to an interview. You can't. You know, what I'm you can't see people in person. You don't. No, you don't know what's happening. It's you tough. can't even get a part time job because all the jobs is closed, right? Yeah. So I'd imagine they Lord would probably be more upset, right? Yeah, yeah for real. So. And then, and then the problem is afterwards, too, right? The economy. Uh, correct itself so it went to shit. Yeah. Because it was so booming with the stimulus yeah. that when it came, uh, it was over, everybody started opening up. Shit went, they had to recorrect itself, right? So yeah. now you see a lot of people trying to look for jobs and it's finally catching up when there's no jobs. Yo, me and my brother. A lot of people, there's that. layoffs a lot. A lot of these companies are laying people out because there's just not enough money no more. Yo, I don't know how it is with your industry, but in tech, they're dropping um, mad niggas, bro. Tech is crazy. Like, my industry is kind of different since we're not really a tech company. We are in blood banking. So, when we're in healthcare. So, it's kind of like, you know. But, like, yo, these, like, public tech companies, is, bro, just laying off people. Like, it's like nothing, yeah. right? Niggas dropping 7%. EA just, just laid off, like, 5%, bro. like, mm-hmm. just today, right? Like Facebook dropped, like, mad people. Bro, they just drop you niggas just off rip. And uh, I think it was COVID because a lot of these positions was just, like, random shit. So you could be in tech, but tech adjacent, but just working like a random ass job that's not really tech, like a made up job, essentially, just because mm-hmm. it's more money. But then yeah. once it all dries up, yeah. and they, land they were making hell of money at that right? time because you got it. You got on your paper, on your books. You gotta yeah. They got an equal. Yeah. Right. So essentially, that's like the jobs is basically you like a middleman to the middleman type jobs type shit where it's like you really didn't need like. Like, it's just like niggas just adding shit just to add it just because there's money, right? And then now it's drying up and now everyone's losing their job. And now it's hard to... That's why Find it's job. harder to break into tech and all the people graduating in tech. It's kind of hard to get that experience. After they heard all that shit. All that, that, right? Because now everyone's trying to get to the same jobs, but it's just like an influx. Yeah. But I don't know how it is with your industry or other industries. Construction is, is different for us, for construction, because... Yeah. Um, they, they they just they just signed a bill or they I think it was like a year ago where it's like an infrastructure bill where they're trying to build uh re renovate all the bridges and all the highways yeah. and buildings and all that shit because you know more the more you do that the more influx it goes yeah so for us it's like it's it's gonna always be work um 
Yeah, exactly. And, ha- and we do healthcare shit too, so it's always gonna be some work. Construction always gonna be some. They're gonna be building some shit. It's just more. Um, I be finding it like it's mad fucking, bro. I got the worst of both worlds. <laughs> I got like the corporate, but I also got labor. Yeah, like manual labor, and I get the worst of it. <laughs> yeah, I see you know what you're saying. saying no, I don't get like no nothing good of like the. Yeah, I mean. For like this a union project. or whatever? Nah, we don't got union. The the laborers got union. Oh, okay, got you. But I'm in the office, so. Oh, okay, got but you. But I'm in the you. office, but I be doing shit outside. Oh, so niggas kind of got you in that. Well, they get the best of both worlds because they got you to do the corporate stuff, but labor and all that, you don't got it. Exactly. No yeah. overtime and that shit. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, I think that's what my buddy was like, yo, if you were nursing, like, he said he knew one of his uh, friends... Not friends, but an older person who went into nursing from tech. Because he was like, yo, I got a family now. Like, it's like, when nursing, you always don't have a job. And if you need money, because you're yeah, shorty too, just yeah. pick up extra. Like, I'm like, there's no other industry like that. The only thing is just like the, the work-life balance. But like, if it's just money, like, bro, you can have it's all like the money bread, you need. Bro. Like, bro, yeah. like, that's that's crazy. Just to, just to get to that point, it's probably just hard, harder and all that. But that's like, that's one industry where it's like, yo. You gonna always be there. Even during COVID, like them niggas was making money. But that was dangerous. Though. It was yeah, it was dangerous. Niggas was dying too, but it's fine. Yeah, that is type of crazy though. That's that's kind of like the the, the flip flop where you making money, but it's like yeah, plus psychological. Like niggas can really die on your watch and or and, and you could get sued for a lot of people. And you can get nurses yeah. get sued and shit like that. Yeah, I think me and my brother we chipped in to help pay for our mom's uh, insurance for that because um. I, you need insurance if you're a nurse or practitioner because yeah, yeah. like yeah because so, that shit is serious bro yeah. yeah it is what it is those those are some full proof things but you it, it, there is like hard work that needs to go into yeah so I don't know I've been thinking about it a lot like you know like like what industry is full proof and it's just like it's tough to find out yeah it's, t- it's tough I mean I feel like you're in a good spot I feel like it's not necessarily industry I feel like it's job specific, really. Yeah. Like there's certain jobs where it's like it's just in a certain it's adjacent with the right industry. So like you could be in const- I don't know about construction, but I know at least for IT. If you're in IT, but for like a Fortune 500 company, that's probably not as stable because like the CEO could wake up and be like, "Yo, just fire like 10 percent of all these niggas, bro," because we got a board meeting. I want to have more profit, like just like that. But if you could be in a nonprofit or like healthcare something it's, it's not really coming and, and then that goes down to like what you're looking for like yeah. a stable or you're looking for like that big job that you know what I'm saying I feel like me I'm like I kind of want that stable but still like room for improvement cause I'm like yo it's OD though cause like niggas be they, they just be firing niggas like my brother said like yo um the person that recruited him got laid off type shit and then like Recruitment, they the first thing is to yeah, go. Yeah, they be, they just be that the first thing right? is to go. Some shit like that, where it's like, nah, bro, like, that, you gotta have both. Or, like, sales jobs. Like, tech sales, you could get bread. Or, like, car sales, you get bread. But it's like somewhere, like, bro, you the first nigga to, like, bruh, then they get you out the that's plane. That's a fact. So that's, that's the thing where it's like, bro, I feel like, yeah. Fact. Job search be hard. I mean, it depends, though. Yeah, like, it do, it like, it do yeah. depend, though, but, nigga, we'll see. Yeah. My oh. dime. Dime. I was watching Love is Blind, bro. It's crazy. That's a crazy show. Yo, there was a scenario where Shorty had... Shorty was a single mom. She was 28, but she has a 10-year-old daughter. So, if you're doing Love is Blind, right? So, it's kind of like... Alright, so if you marry her, you gotta be a stepfather. So like, right off red. No, red. Niggas like 25, 26. So, it's like, alright. Right off red. You could like Shorty. Like... Just marrying someone off not seeing them off that environment is crazy, right? But, like, damn. And then you automatically a father? Well, I, yeah, that's it's crazy. crazy. That's First of all, yeah, like, <laughs> imagine, like, you friend, and then you got to deal with a baby a baby daddy, like, a like, whole family. Uh, the shorty's family shouldn't even fuck with like that. You, you meet them for one episode. You meet them for a, one like, episode. You meet right? them for a dinner, bro. And then you, <laughs> Yo. you already know that like, you don't fuck with her family, but you're like... But I fuck with this bitch. <laughs> you, and the thing is with that too is that you you only fucking with them for like you got a thirty day trial period. What is it? Sixty days, thirty days. So you if you really be like if you really don't fuck with them. Like I remember there was one that was like it was a love of his mind, and there was one where um, 
Shorty came from a really wealthy family. Yeah. She came from a really wealthy family. And he came from, you know, regular. I think I the bald dude. Mm-hmm. And she was yeah. like. She They're was like, both she, white, right? Yeah. yeah. And then she went to his crib. Yeah. And she was like, oh, like, I didn't know you did like that. Like, <laughs> she was not used to, like. Yeah. She was used to the big fancy home. And she was like, you know, she's entitled. So she's coming at this nigga's crib, coming okay. at him. And it's like, you wouldn't know that until you go through a situation like that. Yeah, like, like you have to, yeah, certain and, and it's like, you technically engage this person. It's such a weird... But it, my, yeah. it works. I, I, I've seen some couples that it works, but it, it's work. crazy because, like... It work. It's like one There was two. a black couple. Yeah, but it's, it's very rare, rare, but it's like... That shit hard, don't though. work, bro. It's hard. Them niggas, like, them niggas do the show... They get off, and then they, they at the end they break up or they stay together for like a, uh, another week. Yeah. And then so they can get their publicity up on IG, and then they join the whole that whole ecosystem of yeah. that yeah. that reality show shit. That then they star uh, type, right? Yeah. And then they all go to each other's pass shows. Around, like, yeah. They pass each other around, do these yeah. all these shows, and that's it. They're just a bunch of good looking people that just got hit up for a show. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever just because it's like yo. Everyone you know, like, imagine, like, me going, you going, and it's just, like... And then going back to work. Yeah, and going back to work. Or just, like, especially because, like, if you portray yourself as, like, a dickhead or just, like, an asshole or something, like, that's crazy. Like, you portray yourself in the worst light I on TV for everybody. everybody. Like, like everybody. you don't even, like, you thinking of, like, your shorty, like, in her past life, right? You you don't have a first-hand experience of that. But imagine you seeing it in 4K, like, damn, she a dirtbag, like... She's like grimy, asshole. like, but when the shorty said, yeah, I cheated on my last boyfriend, he ain't know. Imagine you being the ex, and you see that shit on TV, like, damn, that's Everybody crazy. gonna be in your like, DM, bro, like, I'm sorry, bro, I'm in your phone, like. like you getting dog, like, or, like, because they be talking shit on, like, they past relationships on it. Like, imagine you getting dogged out on TV. Oh, D. You like, you like, damn, nigga, like, I ain't even, it's not even about me. <laughs> like, but, yo. My Speaking about getting was, dogged bro. out, bro. Yeah. You seen the the uh, the IG of the the dude who took his girl to a concert. Yeah. And the girl got taken so. backstage, and she started grinding you know, and shit like that. That's and, crazy. Blit. And then he and then like he was there like, like about to cry, I'm and Shorty was I did, and then after the concert, Shorty acted like nothing was wrong. Bro, that's crazy. That's some that's that's a new generation because that's like. That's some brain dead that's shit. A, that's a cruel world we live in. Yeah, like, I feel like, on, on one hand, though, you did dodge a bullet. Because, like, yeah. yeah, you dodge a bullet for real. So, it's like, you can only, it's only blessings. Because if that's it, like, damn, all a nigga got to do is say this, and then shorty doing all that, you dodge a bullet. At least now, rather than, you know. You but get, it's like, okay, but then, we talked about this. The Kiki Palmer. Yeah, that. That's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what makes it she and what makes her less uh, like they both they Kiki was wrong in that situation and they showed was wrong in that situation. I feel like well you know different couples have different boundaries per se, but in an orthodox couple like yo it's just me and you in this relationship, like I'm not fucking with that. I don't see and I feel like I may be conservative, but if you're someone that thinks that's okay or something or like. To I'm make like, a fool. That's Because you're making us look like a fool. Because, like, bro, like, you in a relationship and you letting another nigga grind on you or you in a relationship. And you grinding on somebody you, else. It's like, bro, like, what can you possibly say to me that that's like, that it's okay? Like, no, but what scenario, was, bro? But it's the one time. It was Usher. <laughs> like, I was just having fun. I think it's like, what? And we talked about it, too. Like, the thing is, I feel like us as humans, we are selfish, so... We can do things and it's fine, but if you see someone else doing it, we're like nah. Alright, so Beyonce calls you, I'll be going up. Yeah, inside. Okay, me nah. <laughs> hey. If Beyonce, if uh, uh, Ari Lennox calls you, <laughs> up, if she calls you up and she's like, yo, come over here, and she started, you know, giving you the lap dance, the yo, J Lo lap dance. She gonna beat me up, bro. We probably even get this. She gonna be like, nigga, nah. What but you gonna, gonna you know what I'm saying? Like, but it Can't. was only one time. Like, right, that's that's the thing though, because I'm like, bro, just flip the situation, bro. Like, there's no, there's no way you're gonna let that shit slide. Like, it's just common decency. But yeah, that's some, that's some wild. That's some y'all niggas need to be in church, bro. Like. That's OD. That's OD, bro. I feel like that had to be, but I feel like it's real though. That's it's real definitely life. some people that That's like. Real life, bro. Even even the Usher thing. Um, well, I feel like Hollywood they have different relationships. 
Cause I'm like, ain't no way Alicia married all boot up and she's just like, cause I'm like, what? The way she was laughing at her, like, she, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Swiss put the little thing I'll say he's a hype, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Someone was a little touchy, bro. They on some open relationship. I was tight for him. Yeah, that's embarrassing though. Like, it's embarrassing because man. even if you're one of those people that's progressive, like. That just doesn't, I feel like that just doesn't look right. Like, me as a Christian, though, obviously. But, like, even if you're not Christian or just, like, bro, there's no way that you can just see. So, you're making us a fool. You're making yeah. a fool of us. Cause like, and you're not respecting me in front of me. Yeah. You're not respecting our relationship in front of me, bro. I don't, I don't personally know anyone in an open relationship. I don't know if you do. But if I did, though, like, I feel like it would just be, like, like weird, though, like, to know... You and you are in a relationship, but I'm just openly seeing you just, like, just do it's things weird. with someone else. I think it's weird. Yeah, like, it's just, like, that's, I feel like that's, like, some things where that's just, like, human nature, like, one-to-one type. Because there's no way, I don't know. There's some niggas that be like, oh, they, nah, bro. Even when niggas saying the, um, one dude and, like, seven, eight weight wise, bro. It's like, come on, bro. You just can't control yourself. LeBron. That's yeah, LeBron and uh, Kobe, what's, Jordan. What's that shorty? Lionel Messi. <laughs> <laughs> That's who that nigga lives on, bro. He's on the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's on the Mount like, Rushmore, bro. Like to be, I, I say, bro. That's just self control. I feel like, cause there's mad people that there's monks, cause bro, there's monks. There's niggas who don't. There's niggas who don't even have sex. Period. No, but think about it, okay? Six shorties to all uh, being the same spot, had same kids, and all be fucking with each other at That's the same crazy, time. That's crazy, though. That nigga's that. That's that's some that's, magic. He's built different, bro. Even bro, even one to one, like the, the niggas be yeah. niggas be stressed about their one wife. I don't know, how niggas be. Niggas could keep Kobe and and and, uh, and Shaq happy on one team together, bro. They could share one rock. <laughs> yeah. These bitches, he found the ways that they could share share two balls between six Crazy. bitches, bro. Think about it's, that, bro. It's that money, bro. I feel like it's that money. I don't know if that dude is rich like that, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro, it's but... It, it's something, bro. Because, like, you got to have... I don't know, bro. That's a shorty, though. I got to talk to them and be like, so what is it that, like, yo, you seen this nigga like, have... Like, when you the, like when you, when you future is, like, eighth baby mama. Right. Like, you see this nigga like, have... Or young boy. Seven, seven kids or so, and you like, I'm going to be the eighth. And it's like... Yeah, like, what do you say? Like, what? How would it go through your head? Yeah, what, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't get it, though. That, that is definitely a different mentality where, like... Sure, he's got to be like, you know, he can provide for me. And, you know, maybe I'm not always with him, but he's that nigga, you know, and I like to be around it. Because it we see that they, they sometimes they don't, bro. They be getting court-appointed uh, child support. Like, they don't even really be, if it no, wasn't for that just court. for the bread, bro. Right? So, it's kind of like, it's sad because them kids is growing up Fatherless. in a single-parent household. They're not getting what they need, and it's like... Malicious, like you not even realizing. Fuck it, uh, what's his name? He gonna be, he gonna, <laughs> he, gonna be he gonna old, he gonna be old as hell. And then one point he's gonna be like, you know, that's you got a brother over here, you got a brother and sister over here. He gonna, yeah. you know, what's gonna happen in the future is he gonna get, he gonna finally find a shorty right once he's old and shit. He gonna have one another like child that he's gonna actually raise. Yeah. And then he with that child he gonna be like, oh you got brothers over here, you got brothers and <laughs> sisters over here. Yeah. Yo, know, we gotta, you should if you go somewhere here, go go check out your brother and sister. We are gonna pass by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how he's going to be the type that nigga, bro. No cap. Hey, you salute to them, bro. That's for me. I'm trying to... Try have one person. Yeah. One shorty. I'm, that's like my thing, bro. My last dime, I'm trying to be with shorty until we die, bro. Have like five kids. Niggas is old. And it's like on some just like... That's some fairy tale vibe, but hey. Yeah. That's me. That's the dream. Shit, shit bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. Shit, that was a good one. Nah, nah. That was a fire one, though. We got some good topics. Yo, they just came back with the, yeah. Solid. They came back with the, yeah. I think we'll be back on it again next week. Yeah, I'm, shit, I'm valid, bro. I'm valid. But yeah, bro, Embrace Faith Podcast. Good. Bow. Boom. Peace and blessings, bro. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.